Ken Yu was a developer at Konami who was in charge of direction and game design for the Tag Force series of Yu-Gi-Oh games, and is also one of, if not the worst duelist in the series. If you've played this game yourself or been watching me play it on stream, you already know what I mean. Found in the corner of the school store, Ken Yu is the perfect target to bully for lunch money. That's because his key monster is Mushroom Man number 2, a creature which allows you to pay 500 life points to give up control of it to your opponent to do a whopping 300 points of damage. So using this card not only leaves you going negative on the life points trade, it also often leaves you wide open for direct attacks. So of course this made me ask the question, could we still beat Tag Force Evolution if we partnered with Kenyu? What would it take to get him to the finals of the Tag Force tournament? And will Mushroom Man 2 really be able to save the world from Kagamaro and the Shadow Riders? This is what I was determined to find out. Let's take a look at how it went. In order to unlock Kenyu as your tag partner, you must first beat the game with any of the main cast. Then, when replaying part 1, simply walk up to him and ask nicely. Yep, it's that easy. I suspect it's probably because he isn't really getting any other offers. So, with Kenyu on our side, our first challenge was building the deck. And because it's me, I wasn't going to be simply satisfied with making an overpowered deck and carrying Kenyu the whole way to the finish line. So instead, I decided we should make a deck that matches his theme and his vibe. There was just one issue with this idea. Oh, I don't even have a Mushroom Man 2. I don't even have a single one. You can get Mushroom Man 2 by beating the game with zero attack monsters. What? Is that true? I hope that's not the only way, because we're going to be here for a while. If that's the case. Uh, Kiryu? Like... <laughs> like from Yakuza? That's not Yakuza. Where is Mushroom Man 2? Where is he? <laughs> da, 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 da. Mushroom Man? Mushroom Man? Mushroom Man 1? <laughs> Alright, we found Mushroom Man 1. He's in Vanilla Gloom. We need to enter part 2 to get that one. Oh my... Is it unobtainable? Did they really want me to stop? <laughs> Did they really not want me to tag duel with Kenyu? It ain't here. Please tell me Mindy doesn't consider Mushroom Man too hot. Oh, wait, Sadie has the the effect damage. Would it be here? Oh, no. Wait. Fuck. Yup, Mushroom Man 2 is locked behind Sadie's card pack, which is unlocked by beating the game with her first. And to unlock her as a partner, you need to have beaten the game with five main characters. Luckily, the lab held an answer to our predicament. The lab where they didn't let me duel the monkey. I, f I learned that was cut content. But yeah, they introduced the lab where you can like, like throw your cards away for other cards. But they didn't let you duel the monkey. I'm pissed. And you can find his sprites in the game files. Uh, cards you can rent will appear on screen. Oh god, do I have to... <laughs> do I have to rent the fucking Mushroom Man too? I'm surprised I didn't get that Google thing, you know, when, you, when you're the first person to ever Google something. I'm surprised I didn't get that happen to me. It's like, who would ever want the password for Mushroom Man 2? Mushroom Man 2 is just locked behind Endgame. For some reason. <laughs> Shit, that unavoidable. I know, I thought we... I thought we dodged taxes. I thought we'd done it. I thought we could not do our taxes, but... Lo and behold... With that issue resolved, we started grinding and crafting the perfect Kenyu themed deck. Snatch Steel would fit. Okay, Snatch Steel fits Kenyu's deck really well because he's all about giving and taking away cards, right? Do I have any good plant cards? <gasps> I got motherfucking Bean Soldier. <laughs> we got the beans. Anti aircraft flower. I have questions. <laughs> We're going to make Jerry Beansman the strongest warrior in the land. This, okay, our two win cons for this deck we're building. Jerry Beansman becomes the strongest warrior in the land. Or, or Mushroom Man Burn. Those are our two strategies. How many spells traps have we got? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Wait, it says it on the side. I have 17. <laughs> Ooh, tall. Okay, if we're burning, Toll could be really good. So we give them Mushroom Man. If they want to attack us with Mushroom Man, they have to take another 500. 
I quite like Tull, actually, as a white as like a deterrent for attacking. So if I, I'm gonna give Jerry Beansman United We Stand, use Dandelion and Desdendal to fill my board with tokens, and Jerry Beansman just hits for like 5,000 attack. I like that strategy a lot. Only activate this effect when an effect that inflicts damage to your life points is activated. Switch the effect down. <laughs> it doesn't say an opponent's card. You can only activate this card when an effect that inflicts damage to your life points is activated. I can make Mushroom Man do damage to the opponent. Wait. This is censored? Barrel behind door? It, they literally just... Yeah, it's literally just a normal gun, but they made it ancient Egyptian. <laughs> so they made it go from a normal ass gun to ooh Egyptian gun. What difference does it make? But yeah, so as of right now, our deck focuses on just kind of generic support drawing, a lot of card swaps. So we have Snatch Steel, we have Creature Swap, we have Enemy Controller. So we give them Mushroom Man, they sacrifice it, we trade, you know? I think that's going to be the kind of vibe we go for. A lot of Creature Swaps, a lot of punishing them for attacking us, a lot of burning them. It's a big bait and switch. That's the whole deck strategy. Bait and switch with plants. That is the strat. I like it. We just need to finish the monsters off. We need a couple more Jerry Beansman, a couple more mushrooms, whatever. And that, I think this is perfect. Uh, we're building around Kenyu's deck. Because I think if we actually copied Kenyu's deck, it would be impossible. But yeah, we're building around it. So similar vibe. So mushroom men, Jerry Beansman. But we're going to give him the support he needs to pull off his strategy. So... If he wants to summon Mushroom Man and burn them with it, we're going to make sure that fucker survives. <laughs> we have a lot of denying attack, a lot of denying spells, traps, effects, all of that good stuff. And if he wants to go face with Jerry Beansman, by God, he's going to have a big buffed Jerry Beansman to go in with. <laughs> Alright, Jerry Beansman. That's like the missing piece now. Just three Jerry Beansmen. What the hell was that mouse? <laughs> the fuck was that? <laughs> Chuscare? I fucking love Chuscare. Oh my god, he's adorable. <laughs> my god, how many Chuscares am I gonna get? I have seven Chuscares. Fiery Mouse, three star, 1200, no defense. Fiery Mouse traveling the world to become the strongest fighter in the world of mice. Be careful not to touch him or you will get burned. What the fuck? <laughs> Rat Commander deck in MTG? I love that. I've not played Commander in so long, but I adore that idea. I'm making... So... Jerry Beans! Uh, I'm making a nature-themed Magic the Gathering deck because I got... I got uh, Ceres Fauna's birthday merch, which comes with, like, green dice. Hey! Okay, we got all three Jerry Beansmen. Um, and it comes with, like, nature-themed dice. Oh, well, there's a fourth one now. So, yeah. I've pulled seven Jerry Beansmen now. <laughs> Alright, here he is, my boy. Did he say skipping meals to afford cards? Can you? Are you okay? Wait, I've never read your text before. Where's your mushroom men? Oh, it's Karate Man. Where are your mushroom men? <laughs> Tell me! Where are they? It's your whole thing, can you? Yeah, double mushroom man! <laughs> oh, this is... Now the party's getting started. <laughs> now it's a party. <gasps> Karate Man, mushroom man. That's the... Th that's the theme! Kenyu likes men! I'm paying a thousand life points to give Kenyu <laughs> two mushrooms. This is so dumb. If we actually manage to make this deck semi-viable, I'll be very surprised. I pay 500. He takes 300. 
<laughs> Don't give me the spooky music. He's not gonna be able to get past my 2,000 defense monster. <laughs> Bro thinks he's he's going lethal. Lamau. We're gonna try and make him die to Mushroom Man. <laughs> mushroom Man, Mushroom Man, Mushroom Man. Uh, I wanted to kill him with... With Mushroom Man effect damage. But it ain't gonna work. He's gonna be left on 50 HP. Yes. <laughs> Give him... Three Mushrooms! Also, um, yes, I'm giving him a fourth Mushroom Man. <laughs> hey, can you? Heard you like Mushrooms! Hey, can you? <laughs> Do you like mushrooms? Wait! You can't die to mushroom man effect damage? Hold the phone. You can't die to mushroom man effect damage? I'm sorry? Well, I guess I'll have to kill you the old fashioned way then. God damn it. I really wanted you to die to Mushroom Man. Wait. He has 350 life points, but he, he can't even take 300? Yeah, he's not taking three. He should have taken another 300 at least, but it stopped at 350. The hell? That's weird. Surely he should have stopped at 50 life points, if anything. I pay 500, so you take 300. And it's non-lethal. That makes Mushroom Man 2 even more confusing. Because you pay 500 to do 300 and you can't even go lethal with it? That makes it even less useful. You can't even be like, oh, I'm just going to troll you and give it to you so you die. Yep, he's not taking damage anymore. Weird. What is it? with this, where he just can't die to it. Because it's not optional. Yeah, a player controlling this monster loses 300 life points during each of his or her standby phases. So why are you not... <laughs> why will you not die? It must be a weird ruling thing. I guess. Where you can't... if Because you deal the effects damage to yourself, maybe there's a rule where you can't kill yourself with effect damage? We have to run Hinatama for lethal, oh no! <laughs> Say it ain't so! <gasps> Sparks. We could go one further. We could make it so that we kill people with Sparks. We build a forest out of plants and beans, and then we burn it to the ground with sparks. <laughs> it's genius! <laughs> I've never wanted sparks more in my life. Yeah, if you'd lost to sparks, it's such an insult. Could we kill them with barrel behind door? There's a weird rolling behind Mushroom Man in this trap. Oh, really? Because I was going to say, I take my own effect damage and reflect it into him to kill him. I basically shoot him. There's actually a ruling page for it. I have to see this. Hold on. You can activate barrel behind the door against trigger effects. Lava golem, giant germ. Uh, okay, so it's saying you can. It says previous, but I don't know if that's going to be... During that. We'll try it. You know what? If I can kill them by shooting them in the face with an Egyptian gun, I think that's hilarious. Fling the mushroom around with a catapult effect? That's not a bad idea either, actually. Ooh, that's a good shout. We give them three mushroom men and then just deserts them. That's actually huge brain. This deck is just weird. I don't know how to make this work. Because I... <laughs> We're at this point where I'm like, how the hell do you make Mushroom Man 2 work? How the hell? <laughs> how do you make Mushroom Man 2 a workable card? Get rid of Cannon Soldier, put in Man Throw Throw, and then add a couple Mushroom Men in. Alright, let's... Now, now it doesn't need to be Saturday. 
let's just skip days until we get like a thousand DP for free. Jaden! I have the best relationship with you? No, sorry, buddy. Ah, oh, pooper! <laughs> sorry, Jaden. I always feel bad rejecting them for Tag Force. <gasps> Yippee! I'm a recommended duelist! Did you see that, Gillian? I got recommended! Somehow. I slept for a whole week and I got recommended as a duelist. I wonder if Chancellor Shepard recommended me as a duelist just to get me out of my room. He, like, saw that I slept for an entire week and was like, uh, make it so he has to go to class at least once so we know he's alive. Mass Driver. Tribute one monster, inflict 400. Huh. We never considered Mass Driver, did we? I guess that's kind of what Manthrotro's strat is. Is basically just Mass Driver. So if we don't get it, I could use that instead. Oh man, am I not gonna get Manthrotro? Oh, I'm gonna be so sad. I wanted to throw Mushroom Man at him! The... <laughs> The context win on that is hilarious. Just the idea of throwing Mushroom Man at this guy to win is so funny to me. I guess shooting it with Mass Driver also works. Oh right, we were going to get rid of Barrel Behind the Door if it didn't work. I need to test that on Kenya. Oh, he's going to attack everything but Man Eater Bug. <gasps> I'm sorry, I didn't mean to kill the Mushroom. Oh, I feel bad. I didn't mean to kill that thing. Hey, do you want your mushroom man back? There you go, buddy. I was under the impression, like, okay, he can't die to it, sure. But why will he literally not take the 300 he can survive? He developed an immunity to fungi? That's the best head cannon we've got. He's summoning another Togex. Bastard. Yeah, I want to test if we can die to Mushroom Man, but it's... It's getting kind of difficult to... <laughs> to not kill him. Hey, send back to the hand. Yeah, I want to see if I can die to it too. Because it's like the game is saying that he has the option of not paying life points each standby phase. So if I can die to it, that basically means that they've coded it so that the AI chooses whether they want to take damage. Yeah, it should be mandatory, but he's just not. Once he hits 350, he stops taking damage from it. Yeah, if we can die to Mushroom Man, Kenyu is built different. He truly is the Mushroom Man. Yeah, now Vampire Orcus won't die. I'm gonna destroy this so I can get two tokens. See, this is the strategy we're gonna try and bring to the end of the game, right? Oh, Mitch is alright, you better fucking not! You mother trucker. I had a plan. And you ruined it. One, two. Oh, all my mushroom men are in the grave. I think we just have to kill them and just move on. Right, you die. I, I can't keep this going. You have to die, can you? Oh my god, the 114 in taxes. Jesus. Where's the option in this game to evade taxes? Uh-oh. Fairy box, you better put in work. Always choose heads. Always go heads. Yeah, baby! Um... Heads! Oh! Always choose heads, baby. Yeah, we were trying to do some healing cards, but all the good healing cards are locked behind Dorothy. <laughs> Tails for once. It was three heads in a row. I should have committed to the bit. The, uh, the flavor of, like, the flavor text of giving him all the mushrooms just for him to eat them all and take overeating damage is kind of funny. But also it's just desserts, so... He's eating mushrooms for dessert, I guess. Wait, do I- Oh, wait, I probably didn't want to give him both, did I? 
Because now I can't test if I die to it. Do I have another mushroom man? I do! Okay, if we live, which... Doubtful. Yeah, he didn't let me live. This deck is wild. This deck is, like, so weird. But I kind of love it. In, like, a weird, endearing way, I kind of love this... This plant cute burn stall deck. <laughs> Wait. Why could I activate the trap in response to that? I could have activated my gun in response to him taking damage. That's odd. Yeah, the game gave me the prompt for gun. But... It but he was the one taking effect damage. I have so many questions. Yeah, surely it'll make me shoot myself. Doesn't specify has of damage. No, I think it does, actually. You can only activate this card when an effect that inflicts damage to your life points is activated. So it actually does specify me. <laughs> what? This is so weird. That's another thing we need to test now. I need to test that as well. Yeah, this is why Kenyu is the programmer. Hold on. Can I use gun now? I can't use gun when it, when it affects me. Hold on. So when I take the effect damage, I can't use gun to redirect it. But when he has the card, I can redirect it. What? I am so confused. Hold on. I'm going to give him Mushroom Man and try using it on him. I want to see what happens. Because I'm allowed to activate it when he takes effect damage. What happens? He loses 300 life points, yeah. So it, it's redundant. You can activate it on your opponent already taking life point damage. You cannot use it on yourself to redirect the damage at him when you take damage from the card effect. What? I am so confused by this card rolling. What happens if I do this now? <laughs> I just deleted Mushroom Man from his side of the field. <laughs> Alright. Can I die to Mushroom Man? If I can and he can't, this will be hilarious. I can't die to it. So it's not exclusive to the AI. It's just the ruling of it. You actually can't die to Mushroom Man's effect damage. Anyway, I'm going to fire this at you. I'm going to fire my Mushroom right into your face. Alright, I guess that answers all of our questions. <laughs> Become non-Mushroom user! Bring it on! Alright, we're facing a teacher. If we can beat Dean, this deck isn't that bad. Oh, he has Kelbuk. No! My boy! Wait, yes! <laughs> Screw you! I have a plan! <laughs> uh, gain control. I tribute Mushroom Man. I take his Vandalgan. Ah! Yeah, that's right. The weird control deck can beat a teacher. It can't be that bad. Bean Soul Jersey. <laughs> oh my god. He's Slavic. <laughs> he's got... He's dripped out in the Adidas. I know, right? I'm sleeping through every class and I'm getting paid by the school for it. This shit is awesome. <laughs> I'm gonna beat Dark Magician Girl with this weird-ass deck. I like you, Bell, a lot more now. I think back in the day I didn't appreciate girls that could kill me. But now I certainly do. 
Please tell me we're not going to beat Dark Magician Girl with this weird deck. I almost don't want to win this, because then that means we've made a half-decent deck out of Kenyu. Uh-oh. That's problematic. Hey, you just fucking... You do not sacrifice Mushroom Man. Ooh. You, you better hope this doesn't land on heads. Okay. I lost the coin toss. Alright, this time it's heads for sure. Hey! That's right. You get what you deserve. <laughs> Plus creature swap? Hold on, yes. How is this deck working? Hold on. Yeah, if she attacks with Dark Magician Girl, she should just run at me and punch me. And I would thank her for it. Alright, I give her... Destendal. I have Dark Magician Girl now. This whole deck revolves around giving and taking monsters, and it's somehow working. We made this shit work. <laughs> Wait, why can I not activate just desserts on this? Yes, activate just desserts. I've somehow won with a Mushroom Man deck. I beat Dark Magician Girl with a deck based on Kenyu. <laughs> I didn't leave my room for three months. I see a woman. I beat her up. <laughs> Get paid. <laughs> oh wait, did I choose Sagittarius because that's my that's my star sign? Come on, you dumbass! Pick the thing already. <laughs> Past me! Pick the thing already. Do it! <laughs> Stop debilitating and pick a data center. <laughs> I want to know! And we finished part one! So after nearly six hours of deck building and testing, we had our Kenyu themed deck. And against all logic and reason, it wasn't actually that bad. After a couple of last minute changes and additions, the real challenge would begin. It was time to see how well our deck worked alongside the Mushroom Man himself and if our combined fungi would be enough to win the Tag Force tournament. It was brought to my attention that a card called Mask of Restrict exists, meaning nobody can tribute monsters. So we give them Mushroom Man, they can't even use it. So, <laughs> Mask of Restrict, I want to throw that in. Oh, the other thing as well, I want to swap Magic Drain to Magic Jammer. That's the other thing. Must be a fun guy to use this deck. Enough. <laughs> Mushroom Man 2 will become the mushrooms from Dark Souls. <laughs> That's what I've decided. Wait, where are my boys? Oh, I took Kenyu, so Kenyu's not here. Of course. I was like, there's usually Slifer Reds here, but I have him. Alright, so it's only blues in here. I don't feel comfortable dueling Obelisk Blues yet. <laughs> if I'm gonna be honest. Oh no, is Kenyu gonna get me killed? Is he gonna give them both mushrooms? <laughs> if Fairy Box doesn't work, we are screwed. <gasps> Penguins! Did we win? We win! <laughs> are we gonna kill them with Fairy Box damage? Wait, you're giving me Mushroom Man? You can only afford to- Oh... Wow. How is this deck working? This deck is like so anti-AI. It's genius. You give them cards that make them kill themselves. It's brilliant. Go on, Jerry Beansman. You are the strongest warrior in the world. Don't believe what anybody else tells you. You are the strongest warrior. You just killed a Gillian. I'm so proud of you. It's a strategy so dumb, Konami never thought anyone would actually use it exactly. <laughs> the AI has no idea how to counter this. That was quite a duel, don't forget what that felt like, okay? What it felt like. <laughs> Bro, we were just dueling. <laughs> what were you doing? <laughs> and creature swap. Give me... Oh, yes, take the... Oh, right, they get to choose. Okay, well, at least I can hold... Something stronger. I could do a bit of damage. I think we still lose here, though. 
we couldn't benefit from any of our cards, and Kenyu, as expected, was no use in the slightest. Wow, this is gonna be rough. <laughs> this is gonna suck. I still love the contrast of the Mushroom Man and Mushroom Man! Ooh, too bad so sad, Terence. No, that's Ivan, my bad. <laughs> Sorry, you two look so similar. Don't give them more life points! <laughs> We're trying to burn them, can you? You better final flame them right this second, mister. I think the way our decks work is we've put a time limit on the duel. Both of both teams just slowly lose a thousand life points a turn. <gasps> How dare you! That was my mushroom, you piece of shit. You better get ordeal of travel. I swear to God. Did we pass? Oh, we didn't pass. Ah, oh, come on, ordeal of traveler. We win these. We don't win these. <laughs> yes, ordeal. You have a 50-50 chance of getting this right. How? How did you do that? How did you know I had a spell in my hand? Oh, wait. It can't work because of Bell? Oh, fuck. Wait, should I, should I scrap Bell then? If I blow up Bell, they have a chance of failing with everything. Alright. 50-50 chance now. Mushroom Man! Defend me! With your life! Yeah, I'm gonna activate Ordeal of Traveler. Oh, baby! Yeah, I'm gonna activate it. Now I need to land on Vampire Orcus. I think it... Or, no Mass Driver this time. Oh! The double! <laughs> the twofa! <laughs> this is Mushroom Man Protect! Mushroom Man, the best defender in all the lands. Oh, she got it right. Oh, he? Fairy, Fairy King Truesdale is a he. I always thought Fairy King Truesdale was a she for some reason. Honestly, because you sacrificed my Mushroom Man to make, to make Fairy King, I should be able to own a seal to bring that to my side. Wait, she can't attack anymore? Or oh, he can't attack anymore? Because he doesn't have life points for the toll. Rip Karate Man, but they can't attack! <laughs> Wait! We win! <laughs> I wish this was Mushroom Man right now. But... <laughs> Sayonara, bitch! <laughs> Burn the forest! <laughs> no! You activated it too soon! Oh, actually... Wait... He's stupid. He paid a thousand life points to not take a thousand life points. Alright. Zanny. <laughs> Xanax? Kenyu, how have you bricked? How has Kenyu of all people bricked? Two five stars and a three five stars even in his hand? Bro. He drew Parasite! <laughs> Wait, it gets summoned to the field. He takes a thousand damage and it's immediately going to get destroyed anyway. This is brilliant. <laughs> Great timing. You don't even get to keep that creature I gave you. Kaboom! Ah! Ah! Wait, you... <laughs> you consider a token as your key card? Motherfucking beans. Ah, oh, He brought out another Mystical Beast circuit. Go on, can you? You know what you have to do. Flip Manny to Bug, then sacrifice it. Oh, or you could do that. That also works. If I find the card I'm looking for. Oh, baby! There it is. Send in the bean! You know I had to do it to him. You know I had to do it to him. Mushroom Man 2 for the victory, because he can't do the damage and kill himself. Mushroom Man Cannon. I love this deck. I hate how much 
fun this deck is. It's so stupid and it shouldn't work. But it's so fun. Oh, what a starting hand, can you? What an absolute banger of a starting hand. Hey, would you like a free mushroom? I'll trade you a mushroom for your ninja lady. Good deal? Good deal. Alright, what is that? Oh god, he summoned another ninja. Are you gonna sack? <gasps> oh, he's sacking his own ninja. You know what? It's time. Big mushroom! Mushroom big! No, I'm not gonna give him the mushroom. Mushroom big now. Oh no, don't give me alien counters. Brainwasher. Oh no! Oh, we're so dead. He's giving it to him! <laughs> no, don't give it to him, you dipshit! Oh wait! It. United We Stand unequips! Or doesn't work. <laughs> it nerfed him! Tokens do be fluffy. We've given the mushroom, f like, mold, essentially. Ooh, bro barely lived. Are you gonna steal this? Ah, oh, the brainwash beam. Do you keep that forever? Shit. Brainwashing beam's kinda cracked, actually. God damn it, we were so close! He had both brainwashing beams both turns, bro. I'm going to kill you, Walter. <laughs> what if I just went normal? I just said 1v1 me, asshole. <laughs> it's a Yu-Gi-Oh game, that is true. Of course the AI cheats, it comes free with your Yu-Gi-Oh game! But yeah, this is why Marshmallow's allowed, because... Can you use his Jerry Beansman, which is a jelly bean, and Marshmallow is also a sweet, so Marshmallow is allowed. You motherfucker! What? Huh? What? Huh? What? What is happening? What? What is happening? What is happening? What the fuck just happened? That's your third blast held by tribute. Why? Wait, bro? Is Kenyu okay? Did he forget to shuffle? He's got two in his hand and one on the field. Bro literally forgot to shuffle his deck. This is why Kenyu has Blast Held by a Tribute though. I figured it out. Kenyu has Blast Held by a Tribute because he wants you to sacrifice Mushroom Man and get punished for it. Yes. And you know what Blast Held does? They take a thousand damage for it dying too. This is Kenyu's strategy. Oh! Blast Held is all attack monsters. Oh, fucking whoops. Ke Kenyu. Kenyu, buddy. Can you not attack with a 500 attack monster? Oh, baby, it's gonna happen again. Please sacrifice it. Please. Can we get a second Blast Held off? I hope so. Oh my god, it happened. He summoned the Cosmic Horror. What the fuck is that? Go on, can you? You know what you have to do. Can, can you? Can you Can you not activate spells and traps against him? YouTube literally just gave me a notification saying, now would be a good time to insert ads. YouTube, I'm in the middle of a duel, man. Don't, don't tell me to insert ads now. Shit's happening! Yeah, see, I can use Blast Held. Why did can you not? Yeah, I don't like mid-rolls. Mid-rolls are so intrusive. You know, I'm I'm in the middle of a duel here, and the like the stream's like, oh, here's a 30-second unskippable ad. Castlegate's kind of like Catapult Turtle. That kinda works. We could throw in Castlegate. I didn't realize Manthrotro is only normal types. That's kind of sad. Some guy licked all the deck lists. 
Well, Yu-Gi-Oh has like four meta decks at any one time. <laughs> Isn't it obvious what decks are going to be at the tournament? You know that image of like Daniel and the cooler Daniel? That's what Yu-Gi-Oh feels like. It's like, oh, here's a meta deck. Here's a meta deck, but with a different trap card. Like, you know, <laughs> like... This one's slightly fancier. You know what? Actually, side decks in this game are useless. On that topic, you never have a match play in this game. Even against Kagamaru, it's not a match play duel. It's two separate single duels. Why the hell do they give you the option for a side deck in this game? That thing's gonna kill me! We're gonna die to wave motion cannon because I can't draw anything. Wait, I might be able to do something here. <gasps> I can definitely do something here. It's time. Wait, I can't tribute because of mask. No, I can't tribute because of mask, but it's fine. I think we still win anyway. I wanted to mushroom cannon, but I forgot. I... Mask of Restrict prevents me from doing it, but it's fine. Why? Why do we need a cannon? When Mushroom Man can walk up to him, walk through two castles past the cannon to punch him in the face. We beat Crowler and Chumley with mushrooms. Yeah, Chancellor Shepard just walks down and is like, Oh, Professor Crowler, um, I was watching. You know how this tournament is being broadcast and everything? Everybody just watched you lose to Mushroom Man. You're fired, Crowler. And your doctrine has been rescinded. No! I can't just be Mr. Crowler. If... Oh. Controller, please. He just got rid of my marshmallow. You bitch. Open the gates! <laughs> Send Jerry Beansman in! <laughs> Open the mother trucking gates. He's coming in. I hate mushrooms. Unironically, how have we gone this far into this challenge run and I've not talked about how mushrooms are the one thing I refuse to eat? I am not a picky eater, but mushrooms are the one thing I don't eat. Anyway, his gigantic mushroom. <laughs> Big mushroom. Oh. Big mushroom has to kill. All right, well, at least Jerry Beansman can get the final blow. We got to see Big Mushroom. We got to see the Big Mushroom, at least. <laughs> he made an appearance. It was like a cameo. I thought I was going to be a smart person getting into the tech industry. And then I spent a year in IT and got made redundant. And then I got another job in IT, spent a year there and got made redundant. And I quickly learned why people dislike IT jobs. <laughs> for a while, I was applying for jobs, and it was like, oh, I see you've never spent longer than a year in any workplace. Uh, we don't want you, because clearly you don't stick around. I was like, bro, I got made redundant three times. Idle deck. Uh, <laughs> bro, I got made redundant three times. It wasn't my choice to leave after a year. I'm like, uh, but if you can't commit to a workplace, I was like, bro! The fuck you mean I can't commit to a workplace? I tried! <laughs> but yes, to that point, I did literally need to say no, you can't make me redundant to my first one. I was doing like a job, but I was also getting like a degree at the same time. So I was like working, but also studying. I said, you can't make me redundant. I'm an apprentice. I have to be here until at least November. They said, what? You're an apprentice? I was like, bro, you hired me. <laughs> Dude, you hired me! How do you not know this? <laughs> so yeah, that's when I realized managers barely know what's going on half the time. <laughs> oh, that's a whole ass warrior. No, why did you put Distendal in attack position, you dip? Alright, the comeback is on now. Kenyu's gonna fuck me up, isn't he? <laughs> yep, there it is. I swear to God, if that's... Yep, something high defense. What a surprise. Oh. But 
my spells, my traps. And then we castle gate. <laughs> we, we tunnel. Wait, does Final Flame hurt me? No, it does not. Why do you never play Final Flame? What is his problem? Just cast it. Oh, another one. Hey, does that count? Oh, you went in. It's weaker than Mushroom Man 2. Excuse me. How did you manage to ritual something so- Can you? You- you good, bro? I know you wanted to sacrifice Mushroom Man 2 for a bit of damage, but at the same time... It has zero attack, my guy. We're going to die. To Foxfire. Can you? Why would you do that? What- what implored you to think that was a good idea? Can you? Can you, buddy? <laughs> wow, even schizophrenia POV. It says I can't even talk to him. Did you place your other Earthbound? No, buddy. No, buddy. Your Togex is gonna die to obnoxious Celtic Guardian. Buddy, can you? Come on. So, the Mushroom Burn strat was unsuccessful. So let's go Strongest Warrior in all the land strat. We win! That went significantly better. Just major buff, Jerry. Wow, what a brick from Kenyu. Double Togex, bruh. What? Turn one, Final Destiny? What? <laughs> Damon? Oh, Speaking of bricks, <gasps> not Karate Man. Poor guy. The Karate Man just exists to die, doesn't he? Kenyu does not treat Karate Man correctly. Why are you destruction break, bro? Kenyu, that was my mushroom, <laughs> bro. The fuck, man? We were using that to burn them. I do find it funny, you know, it's like, in the original Yu-Gi-Oh! anime, Yugi had an okay deck, but Yugi would always win through sheer bullshit. Yugi would cheat his way to victory. Jaden had a really bad, inconsistent deck, but plot convenience made him win. And I don't know about the other series, because I've never watched them, but... Yugi canonically cheats, then Jaden is lucky. Yusei is an actual competent duelist. That's probably why 5Ds is the most beloved. 5Ds is probably loved so much because Yusei actually is a good duelist. <laughs> Why are you low risk in it? That must mean you know it's an unsafe bet. Why can I not talk to Blair? Bro. It's already creepy enough that this old dude is hanging out with a 14 year old child. But it's like, <laughs> why are you gatekeeping me from talking to her? Is Gambler Alexis's age? I thought it was a pro duelist. I thought to be a pro duelist you had to be out of school. Oh wait, Aster Phoenix is also a pro duelist though, I guess. I guess that makes sense. Bro just looks like 30, you know? Here we go. Time for bullshit gambling again. <laughs> you know what, actually? I have an idea. I want that card, actually. Yeah, GX completely changed its genre in season three, which is so good. I remember watching season 3 as a kid and just thinking this is the coolest shit ever. Watching Zayn kill people and like Zayn's already gone off the rails at this point, right? I love how Zayn starts dueling in underground like black market dueling rings, taking real damage every time he loses life points and it fucks him up to the point where he's just like killing people left, right and center by the end of it. What a badass. <laughs> I fucking love Zane. Zane's Dark Arc is great. Oh yeah, they did really bullshit Ra, didn't they? They're like, Mai had an amazing duel, and then they're like, uh, actually, you can't use it because you don't know Ancient Egyptian. And it's like, what? We've been chanting Ancient Egyptian things this whole time. Because of course we have. What it? Bro. Bro is casting spells like he's the Shadow Wizard Money Gang over here. Hey, he took a thousand damage. Oh, I didn't have Mask of Restrict ready. Uh-oh. Wait, I got... 
Yes, I was gonna say two prong, please. Two prong that shit. But yeah, you can't you can't pick a female character in this game, which annoys me. Although, if we picked female, we wouldn't have been able to play in Slifer. That's the big issue. If we picked female, we would have immediately been promoted to Obelisk. <laughs> That's why they only let us play as male. I get it now. Oh, oh. That's scary. Oh! I can blast held! Why does can you never use this trap card? Can you? You had the option to use that card! Why did you not? <laughs> what are you doing, man? Can you? Can you not put a 300 attack monster in attack position for five minutes? Thank God he couldn't attack us during that. Jesus Christ. Oh my God. Go to defense position. Jesus. Swear to God, can you please do not pull that shit again? If I defense position Dendal, they have to attack it. <clears throat> so, I'm not going to attack into them because of possible fairy box. They'll definitely hit it eventually. Oh my fucking god. I swear, if you pull Barrel Dragon on... If you land this... Are you fucking serious? You land the Barrel Dragon first try? Are you abs actually fucking kidding me? That is BS. What are the odds that you just pull that out all of a sudden? Bot actually cheating. Yeah, that's the second time today they've just pulled the perfect card. Also, they never lose those coin tosses, ever. They always win on coin tosses, even without second coin toss. Oh, watch, he's going to call it correct. He doesn't tell us whether he picked heads or tails, but conveniently it was the one he picked that it landed on. He doesn't declare what he picked. Until after. Let me guess. You're gonna call it correct again. Heads. What a surprise! <laughs> the bots friggin' cheat. They really do. I think you can beat this game with this deck and can you? But holy crap, do they... They make it hard. Can you tries to throw? And the AI... The only time they lost a coin toss and it wasn't even dangerous. The one time they were going to destroy it anyway. Yeah, go on and try and coin toss your way out of this, you prick. <laughs> Fuck you. I'm just going to activate it then. Just have a look at it, see what happens. You're probably going to win the coin toss anyway, because you always do. <laughs> oh. One. Oh my god, you didn't pass the coin toss. It's a miracle. <laughs> Always pick heads. Hey, fairy box saved my life. All right. My boy's getting blown back, probably. Yep, rip my guy. Oh my god, can you call the correct coin toss? Can you do it again? Nope. Ow. Let me guess. There's one immediately. Wow. <sighs> Again. With the fucking... Coin toss wins. At least it's zeroed. My lord. Let me play the game. The f this is the worst. They're not good duelists. They just have like a 90% win rate on coin tosses. This deck is annoying to fight, but it's like, the deck is not good. Why did he summon Earthbound Spirit in attack position? You're so fucking right! <laughs> the Mushroom Man will survive against all odds, I believe. This Mushroom Man will be the GOAT. Oh, really? With the mystical Space Typhoon. With the fucking Space Typhoon, but she's not going to use it for some reason. Heads. Always heads. I thought the box was gone as well, but... <laughs> Maybe we live? Always heads. Oh! <laughs> Mushroom Man the goat! 
He survived against all odds. <laughs> the highest value mushroom man ever. Oh, bro. The fucking goat heavy storm too. Come on, mushroom man comeback is on. <laughs> The Mushroom Man won, saved his- he sacrificed his life for this. Can you do not throw this away for me? Mushroom Man gave his life for this. You do not understand how much this means to me. Okay, that's a set monster. You're gonna attack it with Togex, aren't you? Please don't. Please do not attack this thing with something really low attack. I have expected you to summon Mushroom Man. Well, there we go. Can you? You fucked us up. Because I knew that was gonna- I knew that was coming. I fucking knew that was coming! Because the AI always attacks with the lowest attack, so... Blair was obviously gonna heart of the cards of fucking 2000 defense. Can you? You fucked me again! You've ruined this, can you? <laughs> You fucked up. We need 90! We're at 20! After three and a half hours! Can you not? Is so right. <laughs> We're at 20! We're under a quarter of the way there after three and a half hours! <laughs> so angry. Ugh, oh, if Kenyu wasn't such a dumbass. Could we. Darren! I want to- I want to duel at some point, thank you. Chat GPT plays you get better than can you? I wouldn't even be surprised. Okay, attack position wall of illusion. Bold choice, Pablo, bold choice. You summoned wall of illusion in an attack that destroyed Thunder Nyan Nyan. I- Can you? <laughs> you disconnected my controller. That's how weird that de decision was. Marshmallow is not designed for attack position! <laughs> what is happening? Let's put that back in defense position, shall we? You know what? If he's just gonna... I'm cyber jarring, actually. If he's just gonna put it back in attack position next turn, it needs to die. Are you kidding me? I'm screwed, actually. I think we just lose here. Please play Marshmallow. Please play Marshmallow. Please play Marshmallow. You fucking idiot. <laughs> Marshmallow cannot be destroyed. <laughs> he played Bokichu. Ah! You know what? I might have to do. I might have to scrap the idea of making a like deck that fits him. I might have to make a deck that's good enough to carry him. We may have to revert back to the beginning. Oh my god. This so I'm screwed. I can't do anything. There's no way out of this. Not anymore. We could have. But... There's no way out of it now. We could have survived with Marshmallow, but... Alright. I like this deck. It's fun. But my god, Kenyu is severely hampering our our progression here. This deck is not terrible. It has win cons. It cannot carry him through Tag Force though. He keeps fucking up. Apparently Coca-Cola has done a collaboration with Oreo. And I have one. And I'm terrified, but we're going to try it before we start the rest of this stream. So we're going to have live reaction to Oreo Coca-Cola. So we're going to, we're going to find out. I'm terrified, but also intrigued. <laughs> I'm terrified, but before we carry on with Tag Force, I have to know. I mean, it just smells like Coke Zero. It just smells like Coke Zero, like... And it's zero calories. How do you make an Oreo zero calories? Um. It just tastes like Coke Zero. It tastes like Coke Zero if they added more sweetener to it. 
I literally cannot taste really the difference. It's got like a tinge of sweetness. And that's a I expected more cookies and cream flavor. What the hell, man? Exactly like vanilla Coke. Yes. That is the perfect explanation. It tastes exactly like vanilla Coke. Okay, well, that was disappointing. I was hoping for a more adverse reaction from myself. But it's okay. So, we've made a couple changes to the deck. We're gonna... I'm gonna go through what we've changed. Not much has changed, actually. Most of it is the same, I believe. So we still have the three Jerry Beansmen. Mushroom Man. I've kept them in for consistency to be with Kenyu's deck. But also, they are very good for creature swap. So we still have creature swap. I got rid of uh, enemy controller and put back in snatch steel because we're not focusing super hard on effect damage anymore. Plus it's still Kenyu focus. So we also have ant eater eating ant for a, a decent beat stick we can cheat out by special summoning. And he gets rid of back grow, which is helpful for us. We still have castle gate as well because you can't kill somebody with mushroom man. You require firing the actual mushroom into their faces. So we still have castle gate for that. We now have a chainsaw insect for a little bit of beat stick as well. 2400 insect kind of fits with Kenyu's vibe. Kenyu is all about like plants and insects and also sweets. We have some token generators as well. And then we can use those tokens to power up United We Stand. Or sacrifice them with Mass Driver. So tokens actually play a big part in this strategy now. Or we could swap them as well. So we can summon tokens to the field and then burn them, swap them or just use them as fodder for United. So we got that. A single giant rat just in case. I mean, it helps us get out like... Wait, can we cheat out Castlegate? We can cheat out Castlegate. Magician of Faith, just a staple way to... Like, if we lose United, we stand. Because United, we stand is kind of like a big part of our strategy now. If we lose it, we can get it back. We have uh, a couple Manita bugs for more card destruction. We have a lot of ways to get rid of creatures on field. Marshmallow, just defensive again, Morgan Jar staple. Our triple Mushroom Man 2, as per. I still only have one Fairy Box, because I put in, I put in uh, Gravity Bind. So Gravity Bind is kind of like a big strat for us. So a lot of our creatures, like Mushroom Man 2 and Jerry Beansman, are only 3 star. Gravity Bind stops anything level 4 or higher from attacking. So, here's kind of the strategy, right? We either... Massive buff, Jerry Beansman. And then he can still attack through Gravity Bind. Or, we massive buff Mushroom Man 2. And then give them our like 5,000 attack Mushroom. And it can still attack through Gravity Bind and nothing else can. And we can Magic Cylinder it. And I think my favorite strategy, the one I want to employ the most, is Mega Buff Mushroom Man 2. Send him over. And then reflect it with Magic Cylinder. Just the big bait and switch, because that feels very Kenyu, like, vibe, right? We give them a creature, and then we punish them for it. Just dessert still, because if we give them, like, three or four mushroom men, and then they have a full full board, we could just dessert off of them. Ordeal of Traveler, Classic, Fairy Box. Just a lot of ways of denying them from attacking if we don't have Gravity Bind. I don't know. I like this. I like this build, if I'm being honest. I, I like this. Two. Gillian. One. Man, you guys suck. I'll do you for two, though. Well, Gillian just played Torpedo Fish in attack position. Let's go! The Mushroom Man is here already. Uh oh. Uh, can you? That was our only monster. Like, I get it. But also, <laughs> that was our only monster. I think we have a much stronger deck basis. It's just whether Kenyu gets us killed again or not. <laughs> I may have made this deck Kenyu proof. If this deck is Kenyu proof, we can win. Oh, that's bad. Please, Fairy Box. Kenyu, I know you're adverse to using traps. Please use Fairy Box. Oh, thank fuck. Okay. Kenyu, you better win the 50-50. You didn't win the 50-50! You failed me! Oh, this is gonna suck. Uh, heads. Ah. Uh... <laughs> At least I could get rid of Big Boy. Kenyu is adverse to activating his own traps, I've noticed. Come on, heads. 
No! Fairy box has failed me yet again. <laughs> I think we just lose. What the hell is this? Oh! Covering fire. That's an interesting card that I've never seen in this game before. Where'd you pull that out of? Yeah, the actual challenge is going through the AR, yeah. Literally, he could have got rid of some creatures using his Karate Men, but he's so afraid. He doesn't use Karate Men's ability. He doesn't use Rope of Life. He doesn't use... He doesn't even use Blast Held by a Tribute. Can use AI is designed to lose. From my hand... Umi, how did you... How did you start with Umi two games in a row? Umi's like a centerpiece of your deck, Gillian. How the hell did you top deck it twice? Cheating mother feck. Also, he refuses to play Final Flame. I don't get it. He can do 600 damage for free and he will not cast it. He's saving it for the last hit. Oh my god, that would be so... That's too big brain. Kenyu isn't that smart. All the pieces of the puzzle are in place. Everything is in position. I have a Mushroom Man, I have United We Stand, and I have Magic Cylinder. All the pieces of the puzzle are coming together. <laughs> oh, it's gonna work so well. Yes, I want to give him my 5,000 attack Mushroom Man. Are you insane? Here is our strategy for a Kenyu deck that actually beats people. We hyper power up. A mushroom man. Oh, well. Your blind destruction has fucked me. <laughs> Punishment BM. Brilliant, yeah. Final flame, do it! You have a win condition in your hand, can you? Can you? You have final flame in your hand. Can you? Cast final flame! Do it! What are you doing? The fact he had dying Keto when he's about to lose to that. Okay, well, it should still work out now. That's insane. If he'd attacked with only Mushroom Man, he would have, uh, he would have lived from the Magic Cylinder. There we go. Yeah, there's literally no detriment to using Final Flame. Why does he... <laughs> Why does he have cards he never uses? You know what? I can see his deck, actually. I have his recipe. We've beaten him enough times. Shall we see how many cards he refuses to use? So he has three Karate Men, which he never really uses their effects. He has three Blast Held by Tribute, and we've never seen him actually use it. He uses Moon Curry and Reign of Mercy, which heals, but he never uses Final Flame. Also Rope of Life he never uses. He never casts Emperor's Hol Holiday. It's so weird. Shadow of Eyes, I don't think he's ever casted. It's so strange. What is winning? Kenyu has lost so many duels in his lifetime, he actually doesn't know what winning is. Yeah, I'm gonna bet five. I have so much confidence in this deck. Look, I've given you a Mushroom Man. What a kind gift I've given you, good sir. Would you like to use it? Ho ho! You've fallen for one of the classic blunders. And now give it me back. I would like my card back, please. <laughs> You're gonna give it me back, right? Yeah, you are. What dumbass would pay 500 life points to give me back my 2,000 attack monster? Mushroom man. Finish him. Fungality. <laughs> I get the feeling that's probably what it is, right? The devs are like, hey, can you make a good enough deck to carry Can you? And the devs probably didn't think, oh, you're going to make a nerfed as hell deck to try and match his vibe, are you? <laughs> what idiot would make a deck that matches Kenyu's vibe? Surely they're just going to build Cyber Dragons and carry his ass, right? I want to meet Kenyu, the real Kenyu, because he's a developer at Konami. Probably not anymore, but he was when this game was coming out. I want to meet Kenyu and find out, like, do you like Mushroom Man, or is it like a joke, or like what? Like, why did they give you this deck? <laughs> oh shit, I meant to... I meant to creature swap first, whoops. I looked at chat! <laughs> I blame chat! I looked at chat, and then I like... Defaulted to going into, um... Battle phase. 
if you somehow don't kill him <laughs> with this board. Bro, stop playing with your food. Just end him! <laughs> you had a 5,000 attacker, bro. Apparently, what, what happened is that Pharaoh guy has a really bad deck, but he thinks he's amazing because during his time, nobody wanted to lose to the Pharaoh. So, <laughs> what they would do is they would purposely throw the match against him. But also, it makes it hilarious because, okay, how did Abidos beat Cyrus? Because in this game, he's tag forcing with Cyrus, which means he had to have beaten Cyrus to steal his soul. So how the hell did Cyrus lose to Abidos? Okay, I need to pull something out. The hell am I gonna do? Wow, this fucking sucks. Uh, I might... Alright. Put creature swap down. I need this. I could steal a half decent card potentially. Oh! Snatch steal. Big insect. I creature swap my mushroom man with him. So now I have the insects, and he's going to give that back to me next turn. Oh, no back row? Look at that! The deck strategy is working! I don't know why, why I said he was going to give me back Mushroom Man. It's fucking dead. <laughs> I killed Mushroom Man. I don't know why I said he was going to give it me back. Abidos Boss Monster is 2,500 to beat over Steamroid! <laughs> Poor Cyrus and his garbage boss monster as well. <laughs> Can you? I might actually name the video that comes out of this. Can you beat Tag Force with the worst tag partner. Yeah, Cyrus's ace monster isn't even his. It's stealing Avian and making it ride UFO Roid. It's so dumb. It's also UFO Roid is garbage. That fusion is also garbage. I'm so confident on taking on Riot Yellows. Look at me go. Oh, no. UFO Roid? You want to know what UFO Roid is? It's... It's a, um... A five-star card, which, when destroyed, searches for a Roid monster. Yeah, why would you use UFO Roid in any reality? <gasps> Let's go! He threw away Togex instead of Bokichi. Why can you? What the? Why would you? You know what? Never mind. You literally have a trash mob to throw in the bin, and you didn't. Here's the strat. I give you a mushroom. Oh, I can't put you in attack position. That's fine. Oh. <laughs> Two of a pair, now on opposite sides. From the very start, with honor we've dueled. <laughs> Mushroom Man 2 versus Mushroom Man 07. We are closer than brothers. Now we have to fight each other. And we trust our fate to the heart of the cards. No matter what. Oh, ah! I've died. Come back to me. Body. I've frozen. Help. Help. I'm alive. Okay. Oh, thank God. I was scared for a second. I was like, what the hell happened? I live. Yippee. Uh-oh! Uh-oh! <laughs> That's problem. Of course you just had Umi Dio. Now, our deal's good. I, I never normally have an empty hand. Normally it's good. Hey! Ah, uh, See? That's how you use effect damage, can you? That's how you use effect damage. You know those things you have? Alright, we're going again. Fuck you. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize we were playing bitch baby mode. Why is everybody playing set cards? Yeah, I saw like a modern deck and it's like got three traps in it. And I was like, eh? Like nobody runs traps because having to wait a turn to do something is too slow. Traps being too slow is insane. Yeah, it's why I don't want to play modern Yu-Gi-Oh in person. I want to learn modern Yu-Gi-Oh on Master Duel. 
But if I learnt it in person, there'd be way too much freaking shuffling in my deck. And I am not here for shuffling. I want the system to do that for me. This axe makes Jerry sad. Oh, yeah, this axe of despair, isn't it? Oh, yippee. <laughs> I love Dark Hole. The convenient Dark Hole out of nowhere. This guy just has an answer to everything, doesn't he? Every time I do anything... Jerry! He's back! And angrier than ever. He's not sad anymore. <laughs> He's gone from depressed to angry. He's ill... He's in his villain arc now. <laughs> You're not ready for the Jerry Beansman villain arc. This card is unaffected by spell cards. Also, this card cannot be an attack target. Oh, wait! <laughs> Never mind. It just turns into an attack directly. Fucking Lamau? Why would you... Okay, you know what? It's Penguin Soldier. That's kind of bad for us, actually. Rip those bozos. We're going to lose this turn, aren't we? We have no monsters. It's weaker than Jerry. Togek sucks as a 5-star. Can we... A vanilla 5-star? Like, with 1-600, 1-800. This thing sucks, actually. I need someone stronger than 1-800, please. <laughs> or maybe we'll just deck them out eventually. Wait, you cheated out Penguin Soldier? Are you running out of monsters? Like, why would you cheat out Penguin Soldier? Standing here, I realize. And it's just them punching Mushroom Man. Can you? Fuck it, do you mind? Can you? We could have done a thousand damage with that. Why would you flip summon it? For 300 damage when we could have got a thousand out of him. Oh my lord. Fucking put that in defense position. He just gave them 1,400 damage for free. Anyway, we should win with this. Jesus Christ. Can you? You make this so difficult. They actively coded you bad. It's like you were coded spaghetti code. And then they were just like, fuck it, this is funny. Was Kenyu the intern? <laughs> Was Kenyu the apprentice? And they let him code his own AI? And they were like, We're gonna let you code this one AI, and then it'll be a really funny joke enemy. <laughs> one? Get the fuck out of here. Crowler, you're a bit more confident. One? I'm chicken. You're the one. <laughs> you're the one wagering one token, you dick. <laughs> One! Well, this sucks. It is turn three. I have not played the game, and we're already below half health. I can survive a little bit on wave motion. Let's get rid of whatever these backlines are. Oh, okay, you're activating scapegoat. Cool. It's Big Jerry time. And I'm not going to play Mass Driver, because Kenyu will sacrifice all of our creatures to the Mass Driver. I can feel it. Oh, good. Mystical Space Typhoon. Of course, I lost the 50-50, like always. You got any good plans, can you? That is big brain. I'll give him that. That does stop Ancient Gear Beast from being stronger than us. Yes, we lose Jerry, but fair enough, can you? Fair enough. I'm surprised you didn't nerf yourself by getting rid of Forest. I think it's only stacked twice anyway, but... Oh, we're, we're already that low now. Yeah, let's get rid of Cannon. I was planning on getting rid of that anyway, but I didn't realize we were already that low. Alright, fuck a beast. Are you for real? Again. Every time I want to do anything in this game. Yeah, to get wave motion, you need to... You need to beat Sa- Are you serious? Are you fucking kidding me? You just have United We Stand in this scenario? Bro. Everything I did got countered. Everything I did was hard countered, bro. I hate that we... I don't get to go first, ever. 
I have to wait until Kenyu fucks us for a turn. And then I'm allowed to play the game when we're already half health. It's like starting the game with a handicap. Oh, really? Big Koala, turn one. At least we have Spellbinding. Look at this top-decking, cheating asshole. No way you pull Master of Oz turn one without any recruiting, any hunting. You just had polymerization in the two materials. Master turn one sucks, yeah. Thank God it's spellbound now. That is so true. Magic Jammer could negate Heavy Storm. I don't know why my brain was like, I'm scared of putting too many traps down in case Heavy Storm happens. I can literally counter the thing I'm scared of. <laughs> if partner could surrender. Oh my God, every, we'd have to win in 10 turns. Did he got rid of my Magic Jammer to summon Anteater. Bro. The fuck? Well, there goes our Anteater. Cool, I'm glad. <laughs> glad. It was worth the sacrifice of my Magic Jammer. Yes, I'll get Marshmallow for pure defense. And then it'll get eaten by Mass Driver because <laughs> Ken use an idiot. I could always heavy storm my own mass driver off field. Oh, well, there you go. That works. Thank you for sorting my own issue. Yes, I've played a lot of old school Yu-Gi-Oh. I've not played modern Yu-Gi-Oh, so I'm very familiar with GX era, especially. GX era Yu-Gi-Oh, I am... I'm somewhat of an expert, he says, not realizing Panda has piercing. I'm an experienced Yu-Gi-Oh player in GX, which also means I can't read. Yeah, you build one worlds. I heard about that. I saw a post from GX out of context. Oh, can you? You're so stupid. You got rid of my marshmallow, but also that's fine, I guess. Big bean. Big bean time. Big bean. 2750, just strong enough to win. Big bean. I didn't realize pro Yu-Gi-Oh had like clans. There's clans in Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro? That's sick. Ah, uh, perfect finish with the beans! Lawrence. What? Why is... Oh, wager more than one! Uh-oh. Are we soft-locked? Why is... Can you just... I mean, Lawrence just stopped. Uh-oh. Why is Lawrence just stopped? What are you thinking about? Yeah, we managed to break Lawrence. The mushrooms have broken this man. <laughs> when did we last save? I didn't know you could soft lock the enemy. Oh, gamble turn skip mixed with mushroom man mandatory effect. Huh. That could be it, actually. I don't think I saved since we started. Uh, since we did uh, chum layer. So I think we're, we should be one. Like, yeah, we got 23. Okay. It didn't save us doing Chumley. Oh, you have Insect. Huh. That's a very strange card to play turn one when I summoned an Insect. That's an oddly specifically only in this scenario would that be useful card. I mean, I know he has like an Insect deck and he's probably going to like DNA surgery mine, but odd that he played that turn one. Oh, Dual Carnival just gives you all cards? Bruh. No gacha, no fun. I want gacha. I love these old Yu-Gi-Oh RPGs ex like expressly for that fact. Like, starting off with a garbage deck and going through, like, uh, like unlocking new card packs and having to work your way up deck, like, ability. So freaking cool. Yeah, Tag Force Special has all the packs unlocked. I heard about that as well, yeah. This is my niche now. Completely by accident. I just wanted to play Tag Force. I literally, I just wanted to play Tag Force. So I was like, oh, let's do a funny haha -ha challenge run of Tag Force because I just want an excuse to play it. And then people were really into it for some reason. Oh, he's strong now. Yes, ordeal. Please, 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 please. Get it wrong, get it wrong, get it wrong. Let's go! 
We need a, a new Yu-Gi-Oh RPG for sure. Like a new Yu-Gi-Oh RPG that progresses through the whole series. Called Duel Links? Yeah, but not a gacha game that's boring as hell. <laughs> and now we Mass Driver. Please do not Mass Driver my Jerry. I swear to God. If you Mass Driver my Jerry next turn, can you? I'm coming for your ass. Please don't be a 2000 defense monster. Yay! My boy! My boy Jerry! How is this working? It's somehow working. I'm losing so much DP to this, but... Is Kenyu getting smarter? Oh my god, Kenyu's a learning AI. He's a neural net processor, a learning computer. Yeah, we can't get the burn pack. I want the burn pack, but this bitch right here... But I'm resting my head on her chest right now. But this bitch is the one gatekeeping the burn pack. I'm so mad they didn't make Tennis Guy, like, his cards real. Ugh. No, I don't want to... <laughs> Obelisk girls typically have the most toxic decks, and I hate it. Then... You know what? Actually, flip. I got a better idea. Creature swap. Give you Bokichi. What is it? Steel Scorpion. Wow, that's garbage. Thanks for that. <laughs> oh, you're going to be destroyed in three turns. Enjoy your limited remaining life, woman. Well, there goes my chainsaw. <laughs> I guess I don't pack a chainsaw. I guess I will not skin your ass raw. I guess I won't break stuff. Oh, we get to see them not die to effect damage. Let's go. Oh, can you just try to screw things up? For sure. Putting Marshmallow in attack position, for example. Oh, wait, just deserts. Oh my god, he did the thing. He gave the Mushroom Man and then immediately just deserts them. Can you did the, the strategy I wanted. Can you being a Shadow Rider would be hilarious. Like, he just comes out wearing, like, a mushroom cosplay. And he's like, I am the Mushroom Man! Eighth Shadow Rider! And, like, we're just like, can you? Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Sit back down, can you? You only got- you only got this far because of me, can you? What did you put face down? Crimson Ninja? Oh, we're losing a crap- a, a, a crap card? A trap card. Please be blast. Yeah, I was gonna say, you don't ever cast that anyway. Let's see if we can make him zero. Always heads. Boom. You always heads with fairy box. Look at that value. Oh. Look at the value on that. Can you? Don't put Destendal in attack position. He's going to kill it with a 900 attack monster. This is depressing. You better win this coin toss. You lost the coin toss. Oh. Get 2,000. Is he going to die if this pops off? Oh my god, he... Wait, it didn't kill... Oh, because Magic Cylinder neglected the attack. If that attack had gone through, that would have been the wildest wombo combo. I am so sorry for what I'm about to do. I am so sorry. But I'm going to steal your creature. Kenyu likes to give creatures away, but I like to take them. Kenyu Chan! You have defeated me! <laughs> Farewell! Yeah, Labyrinth and Gate Guardian stuff definitely needed a lot of support. Because as you'll see by dueling these two, it sucks. Trying to summon Gate Guardian is nigh impossible in GX era. Kaiser Seahorse constantly, bro! This guy loves his Kaiser Seahorse. And Kenyu is doing everything in his power to get us killed. Like, <laughs> my god, we are so low. Man in a Beto stack? Oh god. How could a Beto be worse than Kenyu? I don't believe that. Can we beat Jasmine and Mindy with this deck? If you want to be my friend, you have to at least be competent in dueling. That's rich coming from you. I'll do it! <laughs> See, you could have defended against that if you just played Earthbound. But you didn't. Bro refuses to play. He's like, no, I don't like retro games. 
Yep. All women get free Obelisk Blue in Season 1. Blair is only not in Obelisk Blue because she pretends to be a boy and isn't old enough. Sorry, Mushroom. <laughs> Enjoy the afterlife. After being fired at breakneck speeds into this woman. Also, Kenyu keeps putting Castlegate in defense. Which is odd because he was the one that put it in attack position to make us lose before. Hey, Final Flame! That's a card that exists. I guess it's discard fodder for this guy. Please enjoy my gigantic insect, Mindy. <laughs> Please enjoy Big Ant. <laughs> Seeing that thing fired out of a cannon at you must be terrifying. No, that was not cool. God, can you smug face? Would you ever mentally recover? If, if you fell to your knees in despair after losing a duel, you look up and see Kenyu's smirking face as he caresses his mushroom man card, cradling it in his arms. I don't think you'd ever mentally recover. You know what? I'm never dueling these two fuckers ever again. They cheat so badly on their coin tosses, I am never dueling these fuckers. <laughs> Pablo is my new best friend. Well, not when he recommends only one. <laughs> yeah, I like to believe Kenyu has his dual spirit as Mushroom Man too. Like, he didn't even get Jerry Beansman as his dual spirit. He actually straight up has Mushroom Man as his spirit. That would be awful. Big Jerry! I don't care if you heal. I have Big Jerry. <laughs> I don't care how many life points you have when Big Jerry hits the field, it ain't gonna matter. Oh my god, he used Karate Man correctly. Holy shit, he used Karate Man correctly. Ah, oh, boom, we win. <laughs> Where'd all those heals get you now, Pablo? It's Super Jerry time. I'm also gonna torment them. I'm gonna hit them with everything before the final blow. Even Manny to bug, yes. Exact kill does give you a bit of extra DP, but the Mushroom Man tax is so high... I'm actually not concerned about my DP earnings anymore. <laughs> the Mushroom Man tax is so high. Yeah, Jerry with the 4950. He is a strong bean. He has become Killer Bean. I think if you took a bite out of Jerry, it would taste like... You know those Bean Boozled, where they have meat-flavored beans? That's what I imagine it would taste like. I imagine it would taste like a meat-flavored jelly bean. Battle. Oh my god, he played Earthbound Spirit? Kenyu really is learning. I could steal it. Hold on, I've got a big brain plan. Let's see if Kenyu will use this. There we go, the set monster. Please, Kenyu, please. Use Nobleman of Cross Out. It's right there. Yay, Kenyu used the card. I'm so proud of him. Wait, do we win? Is this lethal? Hey, yo, a turn five victory with Kenyu? Snatch steel strap for real. Yeah, Ken, you wouldn't use fusions. Mushroom Man is strong enough. Although I would like a fusion of Mushroom Man 1 and 2 to make Mushroom Man 3. Imagine how strong Mushroom Man 3 would be. Like a 2,500 mushroom that deals 500 damage to the opponent every turn. That shit would slap. Ken, you has gummed up our spell trap zone with garbage. <laughs> what is this? What is this nonsense? All right, can you? Don't fuck this up for me, can you? Book of Moon. Wait. Do I just get to keep that now? He broke Snatch Steel, but I still have the card. Do I just get to keep this for free? Oh, he's lava goleming me. Wait, that kind of... Works in my favor, actually, right? Oh, I can do the funniest thing here. Oh, buddy. Wait, why can I not activate his ability? What? Oh, it's got to be level 5? <gasps> I It has to be level 5 or lower? No, I wanted to... Oh, I wanted to fire Lava Golem out of the cannon. I mean, we can still attack... Wait, please attack with Lava Golem. Please attack with Lava Golem. Please do not fuck this up for us, can you? 
I wanted to burn Nova with his own monster so bad, yeah. Thank fuck. I was gonna say they have no back row. If you do not attack with this 3,000 attack monster, I will be so pissed. Boom. Whew. That was stressful. I shall face you in the ritual duel. She's cool. Egyptian lady's pretty. Turn one pot of greed, Necro Valley. Wow, she didn't turn one Necro Valley. I'm actually surprised. Gravekeepers aren't that strong. Okay. Cool, I take 500, I guess. <laughs> Good job, special summoning your very weak ass Gravekeeper. That's a big back row you got there, sir. Would be a shame if something happened to it. Oh, you're gonna use Mushroom Man to attack that face down and we're gonna get punished for it. Because you always do this shit for some reason. Oh, now say bye to Mushroom... Why did he send Mushroom Man, actually? I knew he would do it, but I don't know why. I'm gonna fuck up one of your traps. I hate that it defaults to your own. So I can't just spam. Oh, fuck's sake. You know, at least I forced you to use it. Like, if you spam X too much, you may accidentally delete one of your own cards because it always defaults to your side of the field for destruction effects for some reason. You could play Final Flame. You could do that. And then we would be ahead of them in life points. But no, why would we do that? I hate that, actually. I hate that he's not using Final Flame. It's really triggering me. Like, unironically, it's pissing me off. I wish he would just use it. There's no reason not to. Set Final Flame to summon Anteater, bro. Okay, that's terrifying. <laughs> bro, please, Final Flame, you can win. Bro, what are you doing? <laughs> Dude! We could win! Please! Cast the fucking thing! Also, we have no monsters now. If I have anything three star, we just lose. Thank God my sorcerer is a four star. <sighs> my next turn, we win. I just need to hold out a turn of Kenyu. Without dying. Oh, we lose. <sighs> the most annoying thing is... Kenyu could literally have done that himself. He could have cast Final Flame to win. But apparently, Kenyu doesn't want to cast Final Flame. Yasmin will. <laughs> you know what? Kenyu deserves that, actually. Yasmin mocking him for his limited skills. Yeah, Kenyu deserves that shit. I literally- I just got Castle Gate as well. I needed a turn. Ah, oh, it was winnable. I couldn't have done much more. It's- it's actually Kenyu's AI that's the issue with this challenge. Now, we have a deck that's clearly strong enough, but Kenyu actively tries to screw us over. Like, what more did I need to do in that last game? Like, it wasn't like I held off because I wanted Kenyu to do the victory. No, he just refused to win. He actively chose not to win that duel. If it's not food, he doesn't want it. I don't know why he puts it in his deck if he's not going to use it, but he will not use a card if it's not food related in some way. Or men. <laughs> if it's a man or food, I mean, I guess he considers men food. Ah, oh, what? You, you defense positioned the higher attack to attack with this thing. What a weird strategy. Fairy box is literally a box of heads. You've always got to pick heads. Pot of green has too many words for can you? Yeah, he doesn't understand how the card works. He's afraid to use it. Why would you put Dendal in attack position? Why is Dendal in attack position? Can you? Also, we're just gonna lose the mushroom if- yeah. For 300 damage, we lose the mushroom? Bro, was it worth it? Can you? Was it actually worth it? Well, pff, you know what? I'm actually glad. 
You fucked Kenyu over, and he deserved it. That's a weird card as well. Battle damage is treated as effect damage. I don't know in what scenario that would be useful. <laughs> Kenyu is the standard for Slug Red. Understand why there's so many girls in all this blue? Yep. Pretty much. <laughs> it doesn't take much to be a good duelist at Duel Academy. Just knowing your spell cards from your trap cards makes you Obelisk Blue. Because that happened, right? First episode, Crowler asks the class, what's the difference between the different types of spell cards? And Alexis is the only one who can answer it. For some reason. The standard of education is not high at Dawn Academy. They learn nothing, so they always skip class. I mean, even in the intro song, they're like, back in class they never taught us this, and then it's just two Dawn Monsters fighting in the opening. They had an alchemy class. What for? Can you? Marshmallow is not designed for attack position. Oh, look. Final Flame. That card he'll never use. Dendal's also in attack. Why? Why are these cards in attack position? What is happening? Did he do all the trash cards? That's true. They have to do a... They have to do an exam duel. If Jaden didn't beat Crowler, he wouldn't be allowed into school. How did Kenyu get in? I actually need to mass drive on my marshmallow because Kenyu will keep trying to summon it. Like, in attack. It's actually so messed up. True, he did use his real deck, which is arguably worse than an examination deck, really. Like, you think about it, for some reason, Ancient Gears are actual garbage. Does Crowler ever win a duel? Yes. I'm curious if Crowler ever wins a duel. I think maybe he wins against Bonaparte. Yeah. I think he beat Bonaparte in Season 2 and that was like it. Hey! We could have won, maybe, if you cast Final Flame. Oh my- Is he gonna sacrifice both? You can use Mass Driver but not Final Flame?! You can use Mass Driver, but not Final Flame. What is wrong with you? <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, I'm wondering that too. Kenyu seems to be getting slightly smarter as we duel more with him. I doubt they coded that in. This is Konami we're talking about. I don't think they could code their way out of a paper bag. <laughs> it's like JK Rowling in the Black Mold. Kenyu just has a mushroom growing inside of his brain, and it's like a parasite controlling him. Yeah, it's like Parasect, yeah. The parasite's growing within him, and soon it will take him over. That's what- that's how he becomes the Shadow Rider! It all connects! He becomes the Mushroom Man Shadow Rider because the mushroom in his brain took over his body! Oh my god, it makes sense. <laughs> and only when he becomes a Shadow Rider. He casts Final Flame. Should we try dueling these two? Is this a terrible idea? You dumbass. I mean, other than forced back, that's just a terrible idea anyway. Because Abyss Soldier could kill it. Well, thank you, can you? Of course you just have Sakuretsu. Of course you do. What a surprise. Come on, 50-50. It's just like Honkai Star Rail. Okay, there's one. Ah, oh, she doubled down on monsters. No! You fucked me, game! Game, you fucked me! But yeah, so when I was younger, I also did the same thing. Because there's so many days and time doesn't progress unless you move areas. So I was still on, like, the first day for, like, months of IRL time, because I'd just duel Kenyu or, like, somebody around the store and then go buy cards, upgrade the deck, and then I was like, wow, this game progresses slow. Not realizing you need to sleep through days <laughs> to make the game actually do something. I need to be very cautious to, uh, to have some backup plans, because if Kenyu bricks, we screw, like, we fail. I've had a coffee already today, and I'm drinking an energy drink as well, so we're on a time limit today. 
We need to beat this tournament arc before I have a heart attack. Let's go. Imagine if, like, for part three, Kenyu actually pulls out, like, a weird, like, amazing blue eyes deck, yeah? Like, Kenyu is just holding back for parts one and two, and then when we get to the Shadow Riders, he unleashes his true form. Alright, we gotta kill that Trojan horse. Where's Antivirus when we need it? Yippee is now my brand. Sorry, Alera. <laughs> Yippee is my brand now. Oh, too bad, so sad. Oh, we made him scramble his desk koalas. Ah, oh, the mushroom's here. Yeah, that was never gonna work, was it? <laughs> Could you please put Castlegate in defense, actually? Why is it still in attack position? Oh, who are you consuming? Oh, he consumed Mushroom Man! He actually did my strategy of firing Mushroom Man at him. But he still left it in attack position. Excuse me, can I just desert you? There we go. Bye-bye! This is crazy! <laughs> Crowler really said das crazy. Ooh, favorite monster type. I do like machines. But harpies are winged beasts. Winged beasts are pretty, pretty goated. And dragons, dragons are always cool. But I feel like dragons are overdone. Maybe that's just me trying to be a hipster. Oh, pyros are also pretty good. I like Axel Brody's like whole using fire types as bullets deal. Like. Has anybody ever done that before, where somebody will be like, Oh, you should you should check out this new show, it's really cool. And it's like, well, I was going to. But now you've told me to watch it, I don't want to. <laughs> I don't know why, my brain does that shit. What? Why did you just take a thousand damage? Yes, if somebody tells me not to watch something, I'll probably check it out. Which is why I watched Boku no Pico. Because everybody says don't watch Boku no Pico, so I watched it for a joke. Reverse psychology is my weakness. Oh! So if that token attacks me, I take the damage for it. But he's too stupid to realize not to do that. <laughs> Can you, you dumbass? Aw, uh, Kenyu didn't get the memo. Oh, I'm from Bath. I studied in Bath University. It's Bath! You come from Bath! <laughs> when I tell people my taste in music, it's either, like, early 2010s AMV music, or Japanese idol music. This is not clever. But it works. Yeah, Green Haggard does look... Very sad, doesn't he? Why is Marshmallow in an attack position? <laughs> Can you? Why is the Marshmallow in attack? Yeah, let's hand destruction these two. Fuck it. Let's see if we can find a better card. Oh, I did not find a better card. Yes, Can you strategy is beyond our understanding. He puts our creature with 300 attack into attack position, then gives them a creature to, to destroy it with. Can you really did not want us to win? Can you tried to make us lose that one, but we got there in the end. The actual lead up to the finals are the hard bit, because you can just retry duels at the finals. In this, you have to commit to your losses. Wow, turn one turtle oath. Fuck me, I guess. Oh, that Cyberjar may have just been amazing for him. Hey! There's so many cards to choose from now. Ordeal of Traveler and is, is in its prime. He's gonna have to discard so many cards at the end of the turn. Oh, baby! The Threefer! Boom! Go on, can you? You can't possibly fuck this up, can you? But yes, why are Jaden and Chaz even a team? I agree. I think the team choices in this are very weird. Jaden and Chaz become friends later in the series, but this is still early Season 1 era. Bastion and Alexis makes no sense, because they don't ever, like, interact, really. Although I guess they are both the we stand at the side and talk about the dual characters, so maybe that's why they shipped them together. I get Zayn and Cyrus being together, but Zayn and Alexis would make way more sense. 
I feel personally. Chumley and Crowler are also a weird combo. Chumley and Jaden would... I feel like Jaden and Cyrus in the finals and give them a chance to make the UFO Roid fusion would be really cool. Like, Bastion and Chaz kind of have a feud, but I think it would have been funny lore-wise if... Like, they were forced to tag with each other to, like, rebuild their friendship or something. Like, Crowler with Banner would be pretty fun. Uh, oh, you know who else would be pretty fun? Alexis and Fonda Fontaine. Like, Alexis and the hot gym teacher, I think would be a pretty funny combo. Or, what if new tag duel teams came out during New Game Plus? So you have, like, Atticus and Alexis tagging together? We should randomize the teams that would be so fun make it so there's different combinations of teams that are random every time so it's like it could be Jaden and Chaz it could be Jaden and Cyrus it could be Jaden and Chumley so have it be different and then New Game Plus has different characters like I don't know Damon and Dorothy and Dark Magician Girl and Cyrus or something and Atticus and Alexis, that would be a great combo Combo I'd love to see. That'd be awesome. Anyway, let's try and find some new people to do. <laughs> That's the meta strat. You tag force with Zane so you don't have to duel Camula. Big brain. Don't give them mushroom man, we have no other creatures. You fool. Or was it, didn't Zane die? Is that what they retconned? <laughs> he died but got better. I died! I got better. <laughs> Shadow Realm is the funniest sensor because honestly, sh the Shadow Realm, as opposed to dying, is unironically worse because, like, a purgatorial hell, that's far worse eternal torment than actually straight up dying. The only people that die die for plot convenience, like Neji. What the hell? Oh lord. I'm glad I have Gravity Bind. Can I have that? Am I allowed it? The best trade deal in the history of trade deals. I traded my bean for a demon. Are we gonna win off of this? Yippee! Oh, we're getting there. It's happening. Did he, did he say something about me top decking? Did he just claim I was cheating? I didn't read his dialogue. Oh, fuck. Wait, you can negate equips. Bro, you have the thing to negate equips. You should do that. Actually, let's just kill it. I have a better idea. Let's kill him. Yeah, when you want to do Tristan, you'll say, In a few hours, the sun will rise. That's a good one. I think when I want to do Tristan, my, my favorite, like, trigger phrase is... <laughs> My voice gives me super strength. Oh, does this guy only have monsters in his deck? What the f <laughs> Why does bro have so many monsters? God, his deck is getting destroyed right now. Like, he's cheated out so many monsters through Cyberjar and now Howling Insect as well. And we're going to make him draw a card. This guy's going to run out of cards by turn 10. Ow, don't do 500 damage to me. You know what? Just for that... Just for that bullshit. I'm not even going to attack you this turn. 4, 8, 12, 60. Oh, buddy, you are more than dead. And for the final blow, eat my Jerry. <laughs> Hell yeah. See, I've been wondering about that myself. If you beat every duelist but still don't have 90 tokens, I don't know what happens. Yeah, Crimson Ninja sacking Solemn Judgment is actually, like, the best outcome. That was goaded. Goaded with the sauce, as the kids would say. Bro, that Crimson Ninja was so skibbity. <laughs> Activate a spell card, put one spell counter, increase the attack of this card by 200 points. Oh, buddy, I'm taking that. Saints back in a bakery. Uh, the biggest gyat is uh, Fonda Fontaine, for sure. 
I mean, gym teacher, she's got to she's got to be working those glutes, you know. That thing, Silent Insect's really bad actually for us. I think I can't read. Let me read. <laughs> yes, I want to check the field. Uh, Wallace got his face on the field. Negate the effects of all. <gasps> it's not continuous. It's a... okay. It's fine. After this, I think we're one token away if we don't lose. Snatch steel? What the fuck? Wait, huh? Wait, why would you do that? Why would you snatch steal my Jerry Beansman? Destroy one monster on the field? Okay. Remove two. I've never seen Magical Marionette before, but what a cool card. The big brain strategy with the control deck. Hey, yo. <laughs> How is this deck working? My score is 70. Bro, I kicked your ass. I won a duel with Kenyu. That's 110 points. No, I don't want a duel with four. I only need one. Four. Why does everybody suddenly want a duel? Really high stakes. I'll duel you for 89 points. Huh? Can you set Final Flame? Why did he set Final Flame? That's odd. Oh my god, this guy... This guy's using my Harpies deck. The tricky Sylphide Birdman Joe? Bro is actually using my own Harpies deck against me. This is somehow working. We will win eventually if we keep trading this Mushroom Man. No! You got rid of Gravity Bite! You dumbass! Why would you do that? <laughs> you got rid of Gravity Bite in the magic cylinder! Can you? <laughs> Bro! You let them free! This was preventable! Don't act surprised that these cards are dying, can you? We had a thing! Holy shit, we're screwed now! The fuck you want me to do with this? Oh, really? And I draw anti around? Fuck me. Can you? You fucked us. Can you? They couldn't attack us! Why would you delete the thing that stops them from attacking us? To summon Anteater? Something that isn't even strong enough to kill their fucking alien. Are you insane? He's really using all those fungus in his brain. The black mold is taking over. What about you? No, I'm trying to talk to Blair. Jesus Christ, you creep. Let me talk to... Let me talk to Blair. You fucking weirdo. She can... She can speak for herself. Hold on. Do you do three? Three? Okay, fuck it. We'll try these guys. Fatty with his winged beast schizo. These guys are hard, but we'll see if we can make it work. Oh, no, it's legendary jujitsu master. So we only actually took 100. I'll take that. And we lost Jerry. Wait, that happens in the anime? Dorothy puts Marshmallow in attack mode? Oh, God. I mean, she does say, until you've beaten the game with five people... She does say she doesn't know how to duel. She only learns how to duel when you've beaten the game enough times. Hey, that was my marshmallow! Dude! My marshmallow! Yeah, I should have put marshmallow in an attack position. I, that was my bad, I messed up there. Can you? We're going to the finals! <laughs> oh my god, can you? It's happening! Victory's mine! Words I never thought I'd see him say. We're going to the finals. Yippee! Yeah, let's let's get some tag survivor. Because that has mage power, which we could replace Axe of Despair. I have exactly one DP left. <laughs> Damage condenser is not a bad idea, actually. That would make us benefit from Mushroom Man being in, a, in attack position. But he would also probably just eat it for Anteater, wouldn't he? 
He would eat my damage condenser before putting Marshmallow in an attack position. You Joe got errata and you don't have to handshake? What? That's brilliant. Because <laughs> trading card player hygiene, Lamau. I gave them 69 cards and they gave me a fucking barrier. I'm sure there's a joke there, but come on, Harpy's brother. Yippee! <laughs> it's my new model before estrogen. <gasps> 98, we can get mage power? All right, well, we're going for 98 then. Statistically, Alexis is a better duelist, but I think Mai is actually the overall better duelist. She only loses because Konami, I guess, just don't like women. She wins off screen. She beats unnamed characters. Yeah, Jean Claude Magnum. She wins filler and off screen. She's half competent. But for plot reasons, she can't win a duel. Exclusively for plot convenience, she has to keep losing. So Yugi can save her, like like the damsel in distress she clearly is. Like, that's the thing that pisses me off, right? Mai is built up as, like, this strong, independent character. But then, like, she comes across as always needing to be saved by Yugi and Joey, which really angers me because Mai's just a cool character. She rides a motorbike. She don't need no man. Should win more, but is never allowed to. Exactly. Yeah, she gave up against Taya. Exactly. How the hell do you lose against Taya? So Yugi can feel better about himself. That was literally the whole thing. It's like, wow, if if Taya can win a duel, maybe I shouldn't be so damn depressed. Mage power, yippee! We got it, finally! As a card designer, I can't afford to lose. Wait, what? Have I ever read your dialogue before? I didn't realize you... You acknowledged you become a card designer in this, huh? Whether you win or lose this tournament, it doesn't really matter. Pegasus is still going to hire you. Yeah, if you lose to Kenyu, all your dreams should be thrown in the bin. Did you just deny Muyan Curry? Did Crowler just deny us 200 life points and get rid of monster reincarnation? PhD in dueling, by the way. Crowler is a professional curry hater. Oh, bro, my heavy storm is gonna go hard next turn. <laughs> Premature burial on a soldier? Premature burial on ancient gear soldier. Is Crowler okay? <laughs> bro, bro! Earthbound in attack position. We're so close to dead already. All right, triple Jerry for the win. If he had a magic jammer, we might have been screwed. But I'm glad he didn't. Oh my, me lose, that's not possible. You lost to Kenyu, my guy. Twice. I like Yu-Gi-Oh, but anytime they lose, like, to a force outside of the card game, really annoys me. Because the whole thing of Yu-Gi-Oh is, oh, we resolve everything with card games. So it's like, you know, in Pokemon, somebody lose, like, is about to lose a Pokemon battle and they just pull out a gun. And it's like, okay, why are we bothering then? <laughs> I've said it before, I'll say it again. Making it so your protagonist loses and becomes the, the villain of that season is such a cool concept. Well, there's Command Knight in attack position. Genius Alexis at it again. Duel Queen of Duel Academy, by the way. Yeah. Like, the character shift that the Dark World arc puts into Jaden. Like, you see Jaden Season 1 versus Season 4. It's actually kind of crazy. Like, how he goes from this really happy-go-lucky optimist to really defeated. Can you? Please! Oh, it's literally the point Yugi showing up. Is it really? Is that why season four ends like that? To reignite Jaden's love for dueling? That's so cool, actually. I didn't know that's like why that happened. 
I like to see Jenny competing a little tag on against this foot. Jenny keeps OTKing? Bro, that's such a funny I Wait, no, I love that as a plot point. That's hilarious. Oh, for fuck's sake! I played a bit of Tag Force 3, just like loaded it up and tried it out because for the CPU tournaments I want to do, I was testing CPU spectator mode. So I did Alexis versus Blair. Blair's like later season outfit goes so hard, like the jacket and the thigh highs. Blair's got such a cool outfit. Oh yeah, that moment where Zayn activates Power Wall and just throws his whole deck at the enemy. I saw a clip of that the other day. Well, I said the other day, it was like a week or two ago. Goes hard. Wait, that animation isn't Tag Force? <gasps> Can you get through RNG? Okay, she got through the first set of RNG. She didn't get through the second though. And a boy, can you? Ah, oh, here we go. What is this? Book of Moon? <laughs> well, bitch, you thought you could hide from the Jerry? <laughs> Here's Jerry! <laughs> you can't hide from the bean. I lost. You two make a great team. You can go all the way. No, I'm 1v2ing. Not the beans! Oh god, not the beans! <laughs> I got pretty far in Spirit Caller, but I stopped because I feel like there's a plot event that requires the random ship event to happen. So every, like, Sunday, I think there's a chance that a ship with special card packs appears. And only on that random event Sunday... Does, I think, Atticus appear? Not Atticus, um, Asta. I think Asta comes on the ship. And on that random day when the ship with specific card packs appears, Asta Phoenix will be somewhere on the island, and if you don't find him, you have to wait for the random event to trigger again. Not my Troubadour or Russia for the least favourite. I'd say not my Troubadour has some redeeming qualities, though. It's like it's terrible English translation after the first half of the game. Oh, we're bringing some back too. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Do we live through this? I don't know if we live through this. We might. Yeah, I think we live. Barely, but we live. Damn, he's on 500. Final Flame would actually take him out. I think I need to card destruction and find something. Solemn Judgment on a card destruction. Twin can attack twice, yeah. Unless Blast Held works on twin. No. <laughs> Man, that fucking power bond screwed us. If oh Yeah, if we could have given him mushroom and killed him it would have been fine but no apparently we can't kill with mushroom for this exact purpose yeah we're not sure if it's a bug or whether that's actually bro turn one future fusion oh wait i guess it's from the deck anyway if he actually had final flame and casted it he would have died to the power bomb damage wait zane didn't even summon a card i didn't even notice oh my god sparks would have killed him all right. Yeah, we've seen this. <laughs> I don't need to see your goddamn animation ever again. Yes, I know. Every time you attack. Oh, what's this? Ooh, ooh. Oh, never mind. He summoned it straight away. Wait, blast out my tribute, please. Don't forget to use it. Or he's going to win the coin toss and get rid of blast held. Oh, no, he's trying to get rid of Mushroom, man. Oh, sorry, Cyrus. Only Zane's allowed to win every coin toss. Bro, I actually got three tails. There's limit of removal. If you don't activate Blast Held, we fucking die. That thing was tribute summoned. You can Blast Held. And he refuses to use Blast Held by tribute. That thing was definitely tribute summoned. I watched it happen. 
That's his whole strategy. Give the mushroom man, they tribute summon it, and then he punishes them with with Blast Held. But he never uses it. Oh yeah, he wanted to save it, yeah. Can you be saving Blast Held for Tag Force 2? Turn one Dark Hole? Okay. For a Bokichi? Okay. Sure, Zane. Don't know why you were so scared of Bokichi, the fright- I mean, he is a frightening car. Okay, I'll give him that. It is very frightening. Oh, good. Bro, literally every time Zane's had a turn, he's just destroyed all my cards for no reason. And say goodbye to your face down. Cyber Command- Since when does Cyrus have Cyber Commander in his deck? What? I feel like that was Gyroid and the game just swapped it out for something random for the sake of it. It was like, oh, you're going to two-pronged attack it? Let me just uh, swap it to something he doesn't need. Okay, he's getting rid of that. That's fine. We can snatch steal it next turn. See what I mean? Zane never loses coin tosses. He got three heads. Zane isn't allowed to lose coin tosses. Am I allowed to win coin tosses? It's Zane's blowback, so I'm allowed to win coin tosses. <laughs> That's good to know. Ah, uh, Kenyu, you? you're not allowed to win coin tosses either. <laughs> Kenyu got three tails, the same as friggin' Cyrus. Me and Zane, the carries, are allowed to win coin tosses. The dead weight are not allowed to win coin tosses. I know I always talk about this as well, but I love how Zane barely has a reaction to losing life points. Like, especially in the anime. He does it here, but in the anime, he doesn't have any reaction to losing life points, and Jaden calls him out on it. Saying like, bro, you gotta play along. Hey! Suck it, Zane. Look how good winning coin tosses is. I'm emo as shit. I am the Sasuke of Yu-Gi-Oh! GX. That's such a dangerous thing to do, Jaden. <laughs> That's such a dangerous maneuver. If you miss, like, the wrist strap... You're just gonna throw your dual disc across the room. Double emergency call. Bro, what are you top decking? What is happening? Okay. A bold strategy. How has it been eight turns and nothing has happened? <laughs> I feel like nothing has happened this whole duel. That's the, that's the third emergency call, bro. <laughs> Stop making emergency calls. You ever heard of the boy cried wolf? Are you serious? You're gonna Raigeki break my castle. That's fine, I guess. Okay, is it gonna get torrential or bottomless trap hold or what? Nothing? Alright. <laughs> Every time! Bro, let me do something! I haven't been able allowed to play the game yet. Everything I did got countered. Why did you put that in defense position? Why did you wait to your main phase two to summon Blade Edge? I mean, we're screwed anyway, but yeah, I'm going to retry. I wasn't allowed to play the game that duel. Jaden's intro animation when you skip it is just him throwing his dual disc in the air. Torrential? No torrential? Raigeki break? Wow, I was allowed to attack. <laughs> Good God! Ah, uh, Michizore, that makes sense. It had to be something. I'm gonna use Karate Man. <laughs> to, to search. Sorry, Karate Man. Sakuretsu on Karate Man. Hey, that's good bait. Backup Soldier? <laughs> Backup Soldier on Ojamas and a Clayman? Um, okay. That's gotta be an Ojama, right? Yep. <laughs> Chaz's deck sucks so bad. Yeah, Chaz did build his deck from the Arctic Tundra. That is my favorite lore from, uh, from Yu-Gi-Oh! is Chaz had to climb a fucking mountain for Ojama. 
Oh, here we go. Here we go. Ooh, that doesn't normally come out. Thunder Giant. Give me one of those uh, Darude Sandstorms, please. Oh, that was Darude. Uh, gimme. Mine now. Is it anything? Oh, he's pissed. It took a couple attempts, but... Mushroom Man 2 to finish the game. Oh, baby. Oh, I lost. That was a sweet duel. You're awesome. Thank you. I beat you with Mushroom Man. You know what? Actually, something I've learned from doing this deck is how... I've learned how good Snatch Steel is, especially. Like, I had no idea how good brain control type cards are. Like, getting to steal a card, a thousand life points is not a bad, like, cost. Congratulations! You won the Tag Force Tournament, which means you qualify for life-threatening danger. <laughs> you could have at least given us, like, 10,000 DP, you know, like... Give us something to challenge the the Shadow Riders with. Give us some DP that I can buy a bunch of cards to upgrade my deck with. I forgot to put Mage Power in the deck! We spent all that time at the, the lab to get Mage Power. And I forgot to put it in the deck! Despite Ken Yu's best efforts to throw the tournament on multiple occasions, we had managed to make it all the way through the finals and finish part two. It only took, oh, about 13 hours in total across both attempts. Now it was time for part three, the Shadow Riders arc. And normally, when tagging with a main character, their associated Shadow Rider partner does not appear as a duel here. But because we've chosen a page three character, that means we have all seven Shadow Rider duels ahead of us, including the dreaded toxic pair that is Zane Camula, before finally getting to face Kagamaru and end this Mushroom Man nightmare. Can, can you really take us all the way? Win or lose, it was time to finish this. I like that my options for part three are Alexis Rhodes, Obelisk Blue, Zane Truesdale, Obelisk Blue, you know, top two duelists, top male, top female, and then can you? Our world will be no more. That is why they're buried deep underground. Their powers, <laughs> it's deep underground, past the bedrock, but don't dig straight down. <laughs> I'm sorry, that like flipped into my head and I did my like possible ADHD was like, do it, do it. You have to sing the song now. He said buried deep underground. You have to sing the song now. You can only lose a key in a duel. That is why I've chosen you. You have the best scores in the Tag Force tournament. And also Kenyu is here. I've decided to continue the Tag Force tournament, even though you won. I never quite got that actually. Why is the Tag Force tournament still going on? I already won it. Oh man, this sounds dangerous. You're gonna lose to canonically the worst duelist in history, Cyrus. Hate to break it to you. <gasps> First up, we have Bastion and his waifu. Bro, she she doesn't even want to end the world. She just wants a husbando, which is honestly relatable. Can you quench my- Oh, she thorsed it. Holy shit, her dual disc is massive. Yeah, Camula wanted the Shadow Keys because she wanted to uh, revive the vampire race. Which is honestly a subplot that kind of... We kind of didn't linger on it long, did we, in GX? Camula literally said vampires exist and I'm trying to revive them. And then she never appeared ever again. <laughs> um, I guess we wiped out the vampires by, by beating her, but it's like, oh... I guess vampires exist, and nobody questioned that. <laughs> Literally none of the main characters I feel were like, oh shit, vampires exist? Do werewolves exist as well? Is it like a Vampire the Masquerade situation where we just never knew they existed because they have like a code to uphold? True. She could throttle my throat with those hands. I'd allow it. Shrink? Oh, what a surprise! The card she drew, she activated on us. Oh, but the magic gem counter! Oh, can you would somehow? Thankfully, he doesn't have heavy storm, but he would if I had mate. No, you know what he'll do? I'll play mage power, and he'll consume mage power to summon Antisa. I'm, I'm not kidding. All right, 
We go in big mushroom. Big mushroom. Oh. My big mushroom. Wait, you're 2400? How did that happen? Where the fuck did you... Oh, because he book of mooned it. Oh, that's not good. Actually. Wait. I can give him my mushroom man too, and he can't get through me because of marshmallow. <laughs> and now it won't die. <laughs> mushroom man two will live. We're both so low. Yeah, I'm gonna pay five hundred, obviously. You can have my mushroom. I'll give Bastion my mushroom. Ah, uh, that's not good. Didn't I just destroy that trap? You you mean to tell me you got another one? Uh, I think we just lose, honestly. Man, that sucks. Ugh. Can you? Did you actually do anything that whole door? Genuinely? I tried to buy us time. I created a big boss monster, and then it obviously got fucked over. But Jesus Christ, can you do something? <laughs> you get my frightening car, I get hot Amazon lady. Fair trade? <laughs> the art of the deal. Anteater is great. Unironically, I've been sleeping on Anteater. Like, the way you can special summon it out and then it just... It's permanent spell trap destruction. Every turn you get to get rid of a spell or trap. It's insane. Yeah, we're a random stu student... We won a tag dueling tournament, and now we're forced to save the world because we won the tournament. We get no prize. We won a tournament, and Shepard was like, uh, yeah, cool, congrats on winning the tournament. By the way, can you save the world? And that's the plot. If you're going to lose the keys to the duel, why do we duel? That's a brilliant question. Why does anybody duel anybody? Oh my, I didn't realize how massive her breasts were. Also, I think we win here. Unironically. Mushroom. Kill. Big mushroom. 5,250 attack. It's the first time I met anyone this powerful. Bro, I use mushrooms. Yeah, you can have Bastion. I don't mind. You can keep him. We don't want him here, actually. You can have him. <gasps> it's Don Zalogue time. Team! Are oh, you ready? Bro, you can't bring a gun to a card game. <laughs> Fuck it, censor this. Make it an ancient Egyptian gun. Like in that one trap card. Oh my god. What is my hand? Oh no. <laughs> what is this hand? I, I've bricked myself. Yeah, I should be able to duel the tax man. I agree. Oh no. <laughs> Sakuretsu armor. Uh, oh, not Manet the Thorn. What are you bringing? I know you're activating the effect. I'm aware of how the Dark Scorpions work. Trust me, I love Dark Scorpions. I want more of them. The GX is so meme heavy, heavy log room, but didn't even bother abridging it. Shady Vox did, and we all know how that went. GX abridged was great until Shady Vox, uh... <laughs> Shady Voxed all over the place. I also have an another idea. Wait. <laughs> it's not creature swap. I have snatch steel. I am an idiot. Oh, that's interesting. I'm going to hit him with this and then it's going to go back to his own hand. Huh. And I don't have to pay the 1000 for snatch steel. Okay. Cool. I summon myself. <laughs> and when I say there's only one of it. Why does he not have a special animation for that? Come on, game. He should have a special animation for summoning himself. Come on. <laughs> Do better, Konami. Oh, from hand. Oh, thank you for discarding Final Flame. He was never actually going to use it anyway. I'm going for it. I'm making the big rat. I'm making gigantic rat. Oh, it worked. <laughs> I expected to get countered, but okay. Oh my god, he's actually gonna do it. First suck. Uh, can you? This is now. This is a bad time for this. <laughs> Cyrus really just summoned Dharma Cannon. 
Bro. At least Mushroom Man 2 has 1,000 attack. Dharma Cannon's 900. Bro, Cyrus. How did Cyrus lose to this guy? It's a brilliant question. I don't think he's using his Roids deck is the weird thing. He's using like a level 2 monster spam. It kind of sucks that I'm getting rid of my double jammers. But I can stop the Pharaoh from spawning. Another one! Wait! <laughs> He played another sarcophagus! Pyramid Turtle is the best recruiter, right? Because Pyramid Turtle, when destroyed, can special summon a zombie with 2,000 or less defense. Which means it can summon any vampire. Because vampires typically have, like, really low defense values. So you can summon out a 2,000 attack monster with, like, a really goated effect. Why do I keep thinking Cyrus is a Beatos? I, in my head, I keep thinking, si like, I'm against Abidos, but when it's my turn, I'm against Cyrus. I keep getting them mixed up. Ow, the pain. Oh, wait, I thought you had piercing. Oh, no, I read defense and attack, but I couldn't read it in time. It's not piercing. Let me read the damn card, please. God, I just want to read. I'm a Yu-Gi-Oh player that wants to read. Leave me be. Like, you just go through 5D story, I guess. Oh, goody. This sucks. Okay, here's the thing, right? I think I have to attack that, because otherwise when he flip summons it, we lose all our creatures. 100 life points. No big ear. Yeah, imagine Cyrus plays Sparks. That would be terrible. If I activate its effect, is it gonna go back to him, though? Because of Snatch Steel? It stays? Ooh! <gasps> he ended his turn. Jerry! I mean, you should have just attacked with everything, because I think we could have won. But... It just depends what Cyrus plays on his turn. Bro's pulling out the Drillroid? This late in the get- Bro. Wait, this is fine. We have Antita. Oh, baby! The comeback from a hundred life points. <laughs> Boom, baby. <laughs> Muscle shroom. Do you know how much protein is in a mushroom? I don't know the answer to that. God damn, a hundred life point victory. Who can you? We are living on the edge against the worst duelist canonically. <laughs> how the hell are we going to fare against Camula and Zane? My partner is this woman. I'll end up just like her. I made that joke already. I made the joke of, I'll become a woman. Yippee. But I, I can't just make that joke every time. <laughs> You'll burn. Everything will burn. All right, Monty. Uh, 1,900 with piercing. That sucks. Oh, good. And we're not allowed field spells. Not as if we play them anyway. Wait, that's... That's amazing, actually. That plays into our strategy, that burn. Creature swap? Uh-oh. Uh, I guess I'll give you my ante to them. Oh! Oh, wait! Earthbound Spirit and Defense would go hard. Can you... Do you ever think... Do you ever think about what you're doing, can you? Do you... Do you ever think about what you're doing, can you? We lose this turn! <laughs> That's lethal damage, Kenyu! Just kill me already, because Kenyu fucked us. He had a way out, and he opted to die instead. <laughs> we didn't have to lose that. <laughs> it was right there, the answer. What creature swap? Now? I. You gave me Mass Dragon, That's. That's a fair trade. Oh, wait, you benefit from its destruction effect, though, don't you? Wait, it's not the one with the destruction effect. Never mind. Wait, it is, but you don't have any. Pfft. Oh my god, what a surprise. Which one are you getting rid of? Penalty game? Perfect. I didn't want that one anyway. <sighs> Monster destroyed as a result of battle? Oh, wait. Holy shit, that was big brain. Wait, that was humongous brain gamble, actually. 
I'm proud of myself. Oh. Well, the big brain was there. And then it was not. You bitch! I wanted that gravity bind. You asshole! Atticus and Alexis's decks don't really partner well with each other, do they? It's like, Renos be chick. Cannot benefit from it. <laughs> Mass Dragon cannot benefit from it. Oh, you... How many of those things do you have? Stop stealing my anteater every time. Are you bringing back Nova Mana Cross out? No, you're bringing back Creature Swap, you dick. And that's... Perfect, actually. Wait, are you? Are you just giving me an even bigger target? <laughs> oh, that, all this pomp and circumstance just to get Manny to bugged? Okay, this is gonna hurt, but all this pomp and circumstance to get Manny to bugged? Look at that. I've never seen this guy get summoned before. I didn't know we had an animation. We got that going for us. It's time for a comeback, can you? Oh, with the top deck of Mushroom Man. He's gonna give the Mushroom Man and we're gonna lose next turn. He's gonna give the Mushroom Man and then Alexis is gonna summon Blade Skater and we're gonna lose. <laughs> Fucking... Can you? Every time you give up Mushroom Man and we die. <laughs> I like when Alexis moved on to Cyber Angels. It, it actually felt viable. Her Blade Skater strategy is awful. Alexis's deck is terrible. But at least when she moved on to Cyber Angels and Rituals, she felt like a competent duelist. Let me guess. The one I didn't destroy was Sakuretsu Armor. <gasps> oh my god. I attacked. I was allowed to commit to an attack. Yeah, like, if you get rid of Blade Skater, Alexis can't do anything. Her deck is terrible, aside from Blade Skater. I would know, I've beaten the game with her. <laughs> if she doesn't get Blade Skater, she literally is just a brick for the whole time. Okay. Well, there's another Black Pendant. Oh, wait! <gasps> that works, actually. I don't care if we took the 1100, you didn't kill my Anteater, which is fine. What do you have that UFO searches for? Oh, UFO searches for Command Knight? That's so smart, actually. Okay, I'll give you that. What are you going to give me? If I give you a Dendal, what do I get? Oh, Magician of Faith? Okay, that's a good trade. <laughs> Yay, I get a spell card for free. All right, just kill one of the Command Knights. You don't have... No, you don't have to always use the ability. Dark River Nightmare is not that scary. Now I'm going to recycle my own strategy. No. Keep burning land alive. And now... You get... Dendal. I get... <gasps> I get a red eyes! Oh, cute! No! Burning land! Oh, man. I wanted that. <laughs> that was cool. I wanted to clash the two command knights against each other. It would have been like that moment in Legend of Zelda, you know, where Link has to fight his shadow self. It would have been really cool. Okay, he's just... He's grasping at straws. He's just summoning things that buy him time. No, not another thousand life points. <laughs> we gotta get through their defenses. How many times are you gonna... Oh. Ow. Well, fine, I guess. But I have 3,000 attacks. So. <gasps> Are you, you going to sack? Oh, no. Kenyu's going to hit it. Can you please understand what's happening? No, can you? You're so dumb. Can you? Can you? You didn't clock what was happening. Uh, okay, at least we have 2,000 defense. Oh, man. Can you? What was the point? I am going to scream. Can you actively remove things that are protecting us? Please, can you actually win off of Traveler? Hey! We won off of Ordeal of the Traveler. Let's go. Well, not one off of, but you know what I mean. 
Their effects are triggering each other. So I can't... Huh. I can't attack them. For the love of God. Stop putting Togex in attack position! Togex is awful, actually. He has better attack and defense cards for less cost. Oh my god. Is it happening? Oh my god, we're gonna kill a Command Knight! It's happening! No Command Knight locking! We're free! What is that? Oh, you just- Okay, you're buying yourself time. That's fine. Oh my god, with the Spear Dragons! Kill it. <laughs> they're just buying time for themselves constantly. Surely they're running out of traps to play at this point. Surely to god they're running out of things they can do. Shadow of Eyes. Okay, well, I guess I'm hitting you with a Mushroom Man then. You know what? I'm even playing this safe and destroying this with Chainsaw. I don't care what it is. Double Togex to the face. Nah, I'm not mushrooming for game. I, I don't think I could. I don't think the math would check out. Crowler and the Tax Man. <gasps> I can finally beat the guy who's taking all my money. Because it's... Because, um, what's his name? It's not Nightshot. I forget what this guy's name is. But he's, he's come to collect the tax of his soul. So I guess Titan is the tax man, right? I'll beat you. Not because I want Crowler back, but because I want to stop paying my taxes. What do you even play here, Bakoichi? No, Jerry in defense. Not Bakoichi, not the throwaway mushroom. He plays... His strong three-star in defense mode. Let's get rid of... You know what? I got a bad feeling about this one in particular. Oh! Deck Devastation. I'm glad we got rid of that. Trojan is dead. No longer will we see Ancient Gear Golem. <laughs> That's literally how that works. If you destroy Trojan Horse, Crowler will never summon Golem. Oh, cool. Heavy Storm. I missed the part where I, uh, I needed to keep a card for Magic Gemma. Oh, cool, and an Axe of Despair, too. Very cool. I think we still die, though. Because he's got the extra soldier out. Well, this sucks. <laughs> All the times I made fun of PhD, and they're like, no. It's not even Crowler that's the problem, though. It's the it's the friggin' Tax Man. Bro, why are you playing Mushroom Man 2 in defense? You have Earthbound Spirit. What are you saving it for? Yeah, Spellbinding Circle would be great here. Double Axe of Despair! <laughs> Holy shit! Keep that thing. What the fuck was that about? Hold on, I need to read now. Control of this card pays 900. This is not optional. When this card is targeted, when resolving the effect, roll a six-sided die. If the result is three, negate it. I'm just going to leave that there, actually. That's hilarious. I'm just going to leave Big Boy there to slowly tick him down over time. Or oh, 900. That's over a thousand damage a turn if we pull this off. Why are you attacking it with fucking Mushroom Man 2, my guy? <laughs> Alright, let me attack this face down defense monster with 1250. Bro. Huh? Um, I'm confused. D does he just really want to draw cards? Like. Oh, all face-up monsters on the field must attack where possible. Oh, buddy. Oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> oh, wait. That also causes me problems. I could put it in defense or... Or... <laughs> There's also this strategy we have for us. There is also this idea. <laughs> Big bug! <laughs> oh god, what is Kenyu gonna do? How is Kenyu gonna fuck this up for us? Kenyu is gonna find a way to mess this up. Yeah, if I set Heavy Storm, Kenyu would have activated it for sure. Because they have a spell on the field. He would have activated Heavy Storm for sure. What's your, what's your plan, Kenyu? Ooh, okay. Oh, Divine Wrath on Blasphere? Bro, unnecessary, but kind of hilarious and toxic. Not gonna lie. Let's go! 
This is crazy! Bro really said das crazy. It's funny that I have to duel uh, Amniel and Jaden first, and it considers uh, Zane and Camula to be higher tier than the protagonist of the game. <gasps> Macrocosmos! Hey! I mean, I'm gonna get rid of it, but it's cool to see it exist. Sorry, Jerry. You gotta take the hit for us. Already sacking Jerry? I'm sorry! It was a worthy sacrifice of a legendary warrior such as Jerry. It's the way he would have wanted to go out. Oh my god. If I can successfully ordeal of travel on this guy... No! Oh, you got rid of Blast Held? That's perfectly fine, actually. I will accept Blast Held. What the f- Jaden, do you ever stop? <laughs> it's gambling time! Let's go gambling! Oh, As if you predicted that correctly, I mean, you still can't kill it, so... But it's not terrible. Yeah, it's not a terrible strategy, but... God, oh, Jen had no reaction to that. Alright, we need to win or deal, because I have complete brick. Will Jaden win the 55? Are you summoning another? Oh my god, how many of these things? Oh, I don't have any monster cards! Get fucked, idiot! Yeah, I'm gonna activate ordeal. Why would I not? Oh, the double! The twofer! <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> but hey, we lived another turn. Oh, come on with Noble! Cease! Go on, can you? I need you to pull some miracles for me. That, that works, actually. A little bit of damage. We just gotta buy time for me to unbrick. I gotta tear down this house like I'm the big bad wolf. Remove all bricks. Bro is not Jaden Yugi. He does not have his game on. I'm inclined to agree. He summoned Mudball Man and uh, the big Sparkman guy. And he I got rid of both of them. <laughs> so to be fair to Jaden, he had his game on. He just got outplayed. Oh, you done fucked up now. Oh, this is gonna screw him up. Who needs Raigeki when you have Ordeal with a 1 in 3 chance? Oh, baby. Oh, this Mushroom Man is going so hard right now. That Mushroom Man is impenetrable, holy. Oh my god, the 4! Bruh. The impenetrable wall of Mushroom! Please do not sacrifice Destendal. I'm praying you do not delete my Dendal. That's my Dendal! Dude! You know what? Actually, you deserve that. Wall of Revealing Light? That's a bold strategy in this scenario. You know what? I'm all in, baby. I'm locked the fuck in. This is, by far, probably the dumbest strategy I'll ever come out with. But it should hopefully lead to Kenyu possibly being able to win this. It's not actually... He took way too long to resummon that. That could have been a lot scarier. <gasps> I have a plan. Can you get me through to the next turn? Oh, look, Macrocosmos is back. What a fucking surprise. <laughs> Guess what I'm deleting? I don't care what your other trap card is. You cannot send any more cards to the remove from play zone. I apologize. But it is not happening. What the fuck? How many times do I have to destroy this card? How many times do I have to teach you this lesson, old man? Boom. You... Mm, that's actually really bad for us. That's actually really bad for us because now they're stronger than us. No amount of cross-out removes from play. So it made them stronger. I forgot. I forgot that uh, no amount of cross-out would do that, TBH. 
Oh, the Banisher of Radiance play fucked that too. Oh my god. Yeah, I shouldn't have set Nobleman. If okay, if he set, here's the thing, right? If he set his final flame, he could have used it. He could have used my Nobleman of Crossout and his final flame to summon his own Antisa. He could have used it properly, but no. If he cast Final Flame, he would have been on two fifty, as well. I pro what is this hand? Why is the game actively against me today? What is with these draws? <laughs> the game hates me. I'm not the one who chose to give him Final Flame. That's the thing. I can't customize Kenyu's deck. I'd give him Tremendous Fire if I could. But I can't customize his deck. He chooses to have this card and then doesn't use it. I have an idea. It's a weird idea. But it might work. Um, what if I snatch steal his Helios and then just send a bunch of cards to the graveyard? I'm trying to steal the enemy strat. That is exactly right. <laughs> I'm trying to make my own. Wait. This is also big brain. I can mage power my Helios to make him even stronger. Hell yeah. Helios for the win. Sakuretsu. Well, that's actually fine. Because that was his own card he lost. Ooh, okay. Wall of Revealing Light. Interesting. He should have mass driven it if it was going to die anyway. Go on, can you? Atta boy! Fairy box doing bits. I would have kept the fairy box if I hadn't drawn Jerry, to be fair. I thought you were going to sacrifice my Jerry for Togex then. I was about to be absolutely livid. Dark hole? Into the end phase. Okay. Magic cylinder? <laughs> Maybe? <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> We're building four houses. Don't eat the one card we have for defense. I mean, I guess we do have magic cylinder, but still. Uh, we can't even... Can't even counter that. Oh. Well, at least you didn't get rid of... Magic Cylinder. Wait, that's... Buddy! Can you? <laughs> Dude! First you get rid of our one defense card, and then you use a trap card on the guy that can't be affected by traps? Fucking Jesus, man. Why is he actively trying to lose? <laughs> Holy sh- Oh, it's only 900. <laughs> That's not actually that scary. We sit and we wait patiently. Okay? Can you? We sit and we wait patiently. Can you? I swear to God. I swear to God, can you? Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Can you? I'm so angry at you. We just lose. Can you put something in defense position and not eat it? I swear to God. I can't play Mass Driver with Kenyu. I can't play Mass Driver because Kenyu fucking eats everything. And then, even if we lived through this turn, Kenyu would attack that thing. Knowing it was a clay man. <laughs> I'm angry. All I needed to do was just, uh, play something in defense. Wild wing man. I don't remember you. <laughs> you want to activate enough? He, did he just scrap miracle fusion? Well, I don't want cyber jar right now, so... And I can put a Vavarus it back later if I need it. Alright, bye. <laughs> Weirdo. Gone. You can sacrifice him for Togex. 
The one time I'll allow you to sacrifice something for Togax. Michizori, Michizori, Michizori. Play Michizori! You dip! Wait, did they have Torrential Tribute? Jesus. I'm glad we got rid of that. I'm really tempted. You know what? I'm going to do this right now. Because Kenyu's going to waste it on a wild heart again. And honestly, I ain't about that life. I need Jaden to suffer at the hands of my cylinder. Oh my god, Fun of Flame. Are you going to cast it? Nope. Why would he ever use Final Flight? I hate this! This is actually infuriating. I am getting so sick of seeing Final Flame in his hand and he, he doesn't set it for Anteater. He doesn't play it. Why do you have it if you're not going to do anything with it? It's literally a space taker upper. Play Pot of Greed instead. Dedicated discard fodder? I hate that. He just likes the card up. Oh no, why is that so relatable though? Alright, Macrocosmos needs to go again. How many times do I have to teach you this lesson, old man? Gotta eat that macro like an ant. Nom nom nom. Sang in an attack position, buddy. That is not it. I mean, it works, but it's not it. Why does he run three fusion gates? I guess he's not running polymerization. I guess it's to give him a bit more chances to fuse. Oh, Fusion Gate also removes from play, doesn't it? Oh. That's the other thing. Because Fusion Gate will remove them from play. Ah, clever. Giant Ant with a big axe is terrifying imagery. That's some horror movie shit. But honestly, I prefer the, uh, the headcanon of Jerry Beansman throwing away his shield. Holding an axe in one hand and a sword in the other. Like an absolute unit. Dual wielding sword axe. I actually kind of would love a, uh, an anteater archetype. Because the giant, like, kaiju bugs could be a quite fun deck idea. Okay, we win. Oh, thank god. Gotta get that Bokichi attack in, though. I gotta get the Sangan attack in for just toxicity, I guess. Yippee! Yeah, now you're gonna die. <laughs> because I beat you in a duel, now you can't live forever. Which means you die. You know how four kids censored Amniel dying of, like, cancer? They said he was cursed by ancient Egyptians. He's still dying, but they made it, like, oh, he was cursed by the Egyptians, woo, rather than he's, he's got an illness. Yeah, GX was still four kids and had to censor death, yep. It's why in Season 3 they also made it so they weren't dying when they lost a duel. They were, quote-unquote, sent to the stars. When Lyman Banner dies, like, I think, yeah, you're right, he turns to Ash, his soul leaves his body and enters Pharaoh the Cat, and then just everywhere Jaden goes, he's possessed by Lyman Banner and Yubel. He's got literally Angel and the Devil on his shoulder at any one time. It's funny. If you lose, I'll take your soul and turn you into my puppet. Eh, I can think of worse ways to go out. Yeah, this is the final boss. I mean, look at her entrance. That's final boss energy right there. Oh, God. What is this? What is this hand, can you? Magic Jammer on a Mooyan? Oh, wait. That might have been Big Brain. Wait. Did she just... Okay, does that come back off of a discard? I don't think it does, right? Oh! Turn one twin? Oh, goody! A turn one twin headed. Oh, I love that. Okay, we're in a bit of a predicament from turn two. This will work. Unless she just has, like, Heavy Storm. Oh, what a surprise! You have Heavy Storm. <laughs> Why am I not fucking surprised? What great timing. It's almost as if the game cheats. It's almost as if the game literally cheats to, like, to cheese you sometimes. Yeah, it was legit for the Memories AI right there. I had a way to counter them, so they were just like, oh, let me just destiny draw the card I need to stop you from winning. Thanks. What? Why did you overpowering I that? What? Hold on. She's just overpowering eyed Pyramid Turtle and didn't even bother attacking with it. 
Magic Jammer, bruh. Always with the counterings and such. Alright. Sakuretsu, hey! I would prefer you Sakuretsu that rather than my aunt, actually. We're just gonna keep cooking them out of any spell traps. Torrential Tribute, perfect. Keep getting rid of them. How the hell do we get out of this one? Oh, this fight is gonna be a nightmare. This fight is so brutal. This fight is brutal regardless. And now I have to try and carry Kenyu's ass? I can't let her summon Despair from the Dark. I didn't even know she had that. I thought her strongest was like Vampire Lord. She does have final boss energy. I mean, she doesn't even wear shoulder straps. You see that shit? <laughs> her dress doesn't even have the straps on. She wears them off shoulder. How is that dress staying up? No idea. Yeah, Heavy Storm incoming. For sure. I mean, it's almost guaranteed, right? See? The game cheats. But it's okay because I have Magic Jammer. Alright, are we allowed to play the game yet? Or are you just going to counter everything we play? Oh my god! We've officially, like, bricked Zane. Holy shit! <laughs> oh my god, Zane's ran out of cards to use. This is a miracle. I'm going to put Marshmallow in defense mode. And I guarantee you they're going to play Nomad of Cross out. He's going to draw it. I just get a feeling. Oh my god, he didn't. <laughs> Fucking ma- mm, Can you? Marshmallow is not designed for attack position. Wait, can I use you to destroy- That thing. Oh, I can. <laughs> can you is the epitome of watch this. Like, Kenyu is literally the guy that's like, hold my beer, watch this. Puts Marshmallow into- Oh, fuck me. Because it puts Marshmallow into attack. Hey, you ready to see him win every coin toss? Oh, he didn't! Let's go! Well, there's one heads. Oh, it's a 50-50! Let's go! They lost two times in a row, and Shield Crush. Shield Crush on Bokichi. That's fine by me. Oh, there's one. Oh, he's already destroyed Marshmallow. Oh, it's so Jova. Unless... It's Jova unless... Oh, it's not Jova! <laughs> it's not Jova. Let's go, can you? That's not really helpful right now. But, um... Sure? No, he wants to draw a card. That's probably fair. Oh? Wait. This could work. Hold on. The comeback is real. You gonna fail ordeal again? I sure hope you do. Oh my god. He cannot keep this thing on field. But yeah. To counter, like... Because in the anime, they have protagonist bullshit powers. So to counter not having anime protagonist bullshit powers, even though it feels like they do... They had to give him a card to counter everything. I wish Zayn would blow my back, dragon. Oh my god, are we gonna do it? Are we gonna- are we gonna make it? Are we gonna make it? What bullshit are you gonna pull out? Nothing perfect. Died to Mushroom Man 2, let it be known. You thought it was garlic that kills vampires? No, it's mushrooms. <laughs> no, I'm a legendary vampire! How can I lose to a lowly human? You didn't lose to a human. You lost to the mushroom men. Hey, can you? How's it feel to be a protagonist? Do you want to face the giant mechanical spider, or shall I? I'm so glad this is a 1v1. What's that robot? What robot? Oh, fuck! <laughs> Imagine he's just like, now fight! Can you? What? <laughs> and we just have to watch Can you duel him. That'd be kind of sick, actually. If we had to watch a CPU duel. Everybody evolves into crab. Everybody becomes crab eventually. Oh god, he's naked! To control the three second beasts, I need your power! So, oh, this power? You mean... Jerry power? And now we just don't let him do anything. Oh, there's also that. I mean, 
Fine. I'll set Destendal then. Fuck you. <laughs> what can I do to stop him? Yeah, just can you sit in the corner and watch? I've had enough of you, can you? <laughs> it's like that scene in Toy Story. I don't wanna play with you no more. And I just push Ken Yu off the top of the Duel Tower. <laughs> Mushroom Man is the ultimate Kagamaru counter. I don't attack. We just trade Mushroom Man until we both burn to death. And then I can finish him off with effect damage. There's nothing he can do to stop me. And if I summon enough Mushroom Man, he can't even summon me. He can't summon the, uh, the Obelisk wannabe. Because he won't be able to get three fiends out if I summon three Mushroom Men to his field. I can't believe this deck actually is like the perfect Kagamaro counter. Oh my lord. That was a high value hand destruction. Fuck me. Yeah, the strategy is working. And Kenyu isn't stopping it. He will not activate another trap. Usually. If I don't attack him. That's why the strategy of stalling works so well against Kagamaru. Because, like, half of his continuous traps, he will just not activate. <gasps> Wait, I could... Anteater is also a massive counter. Anteater destroys continuous traps. Mushroom Man burns him and stalls. Kenyu's deck was built to counter Kagamaru. Kenyu was the chosen one all along. You have a dark hole? Uh-oh. Well, <laughs> my mushroom! That might be fairy box, to be fair. Wait, if you act- I have a trap jammer. He loses. Even if that's fairy box, which it probably is. I have trap jammer. You imbecile. <laughs> you absolute buffoon. You- you raisin. How did he- okay, he was like, oh, I need massive dual energy. Bro, we just sat there and stared at each other for like 30 turns until one of us died. Bro, don't call me an ingrate. Your eyes like protrude like 5 meters past your forehead. I mean, you do have like a 20 pack. But... <laughs> I'll make fun of your eyes. Can you just in the back? Eating them mushrooms. Well, he's done now, right? He doesn't need to duel ever again. He's... Kenyu's beaten the game, as far as he's concerned. He's just gonna sit there chomping on his mushrooms and his jerry beans. <laughs> his deck is completely edible. Little known fact. Oh my god. Bring out a god card and then creature swap it is so mean. Holy shit, that's a brilliant idea. Ah, oh, low value hand destruction. He summoned the boy. Wait, I don't have a creature swap. Shit. I don't have a thing for this. Let's do it. Let's kill him with his own god. <laughs> and he ticks down into lethal damage because of Mushroom Man. Mushroom Man caused this victory. This whole ass pomp and circumstance animation. He's firing the claw at me. Oh, Cylinder Pops first? Let's go. Let's go! <laughs> Get cylindered, idiot! Wow. I've never beaten Kagamaru so convincingly and easily. Yippee! <laughs> that deck, it was painful only because we were tagged with Kenyu. That deck alone is actually not bad. The deck itself is good. <laughs> it was just being with Kenyu. Yeah, Kenyu's deck isn't the problem, it's his AI. Believe it! Sorry! <laughs> Wrong anime. Kagamaru, after we finish dueling him, is like, Oh, I've got a spring in my step again. I've got life in me. Has anybody heard of a phenomenon called Rally? So there is a... It's, this is going to be a very morbid topic, I'm sorry. But when people are on death's door, 
there is like, I think it's every one in three people, when they're like less than 24 hours away from death, they get revitalized full of life. So a lot of times in like a, um, like people who are, what's the ward called? Where like people go to die basically. When they're on like that final ward in hospital, sometimes like right before they uh like they pass they'll they'll look like they're recovering they'll look like they're back full of life that's kagamaru right now kagamaru is in rally he got life again because he's about to die in an hour alexis cg was very pretty alexis pretty women pretty <laughs> women <laughs> Yeah, just jump cuts to Kagamaru face down in the dirt. <laughs> Yippee! We beat the game with Kenyu themed deck. I don't know how we did it. But we did. Women aren't allowed to be good at Yu-Gi-Oh! It's so true. Other than Camula, but she also is a vampire, so... Being an immortal demon kind of cancels out being female, I guess. There he is! Direction and game design! Kenyu! There's my boy! But I want to do one with Jasmine. I want to do Blair. That came out wrong. I want to tag duel with Blair.